Ahoy, wonders, and welcome back to the table. Uh, it's good to be back. Yeah, Zito. Yep, looks yeah, normal 100% to me. normal. Uh, yeah, we were... Uh, ah! uh, uh, hi. What? Good morning, Zito. Hey, good morning. Uh, it's funny, he sleeps here all week, actually. I know. Uh, he I wakes guess. up on Tuesdays. Today was a little late, mm. but... Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I would have loved to have had the flag here to show you today, but it uh, looks like they haven't quite shipped out. Like, today was going to be, like, the earliest it would have gotten here, on for or Monday would have been the earliest it would have gotten here, unfortunately. So, looks like next week... Uh, you know as they say, ship happens. Yep, ship happens. Oh. But hey, the flags are supposedly on their way. I'm in contact with the people, making sure that that's the case. Uh, Zito, you're going to be gone next week, correct? Unfortunately, yes. Ah, but I have something planned <gasps> in the interim. So stay tuned for a special announcement on that at the end of the stream. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to unveil the flag upon your return once the uh, wonders are back together. Sounds good. All right. So we ended off by receiving a mission from Gore. and Should you so choose to accept. Of course. And, of course, Eloy dominated his Battle of the Bards. Yep. Yep. Fucking Troy. killed it. Spumoni's Lament, number one, <laughs> charting all the crossbow card. <laughs> this, the College of Valor will know this tale for eons to come. <laughs> they, will, they, they will speak the legend that is pistachio. Yeah, they nailed that one up to an actual billboard, top in the billboard charts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and now we have to go meet with Lot, I do believe, is uh, mm, yes. what we were ordered to do, or at least... Uh, oh, Jeff, I forgot that was next. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> we're, uh, we've been, uh, what, what is it, we've been commissioned a parlay, or uh, offered parlay on this one? Oh, yes, you were offered parlay, and unfortunately, to Golfer, Riss, uh, Skrung, and Pliskin's dismay, fuck! That's an order. <laughs> fuck, that's an order! <laughs> And an order from a pirate lord is not easily turned down. Not one you take lightly. Especially not someone who has eyes all over the damn place. It's not like that no pickles at McDonald's where it's just, you know, an optional <laughs> thing. Yeah. It's a request. <laughs> yeah, uh, no salt on these fries, please. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I already did it, so... We'll just turn off the fryers, especially for you, sir. <laughs> all yep, right. So we are... So you're currently... Uh, you're getting rid of like all the last the remaining bits of your crowd from the uh, from the Bards tournament. Uh, you got your money back. Everything's all hunky dory. Everyone's like clapping, like going off the one guy who just like ripped his shirt in the audience. <laughs> yeah, we're, wearing the Raptor sex out. bomb shirt. Yeah, no, he, he he fucking passed out from screaming, so someone dragged him away. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> the greatest day of my life. He looked at me once. Did you see it? Saw it live. And what's left is a tuxedo-colored catman in a red coat clapping. I like to imagine he's just been slow clapping the entire time, <laughs> sarcastically. <laughs> Ever since the end of the performance, they'll notice me. They'll notice me at some point. It took like three hours for it to clear out. Parking was a bitch, but he's like, this is going to pay off. He was fucking committed to do this shit. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> You don't know how long I can condescendingly clap. <laughs> I'm quite the master of it. <laughs> I tip my top, my top hat to him. We see you. He does so as well. <laughs> quite the performance indeed, Mr. Eloy. Quite the performance. Hey, thanks. Oh, I wonder if you'll actually take up the College of Whispers trial one day. That'd be quite fun to see. I mean, you're, you're the guy, right? When it comes to that? Oh, no. I've, I'm, I could be one of the guys you speak of. Oh, man, there's more guys. I'm you, so excited. I want to meet all the guys. You're going to beat all of them. I mean, I'd be happy enough to meet them. If I can beat them, too, hey. Is this like a demo situation where they're just kind of all the leader? <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. Only a god could do something of that nature. All right, not a god. See, already beatable. <laughs> yes, that's what we read into that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I'm just riding off of this high. <laughs> By all means, do so. It was quite the performance. I'm rather impressed. Though, we, unfortunately, you may not have time to celebrate too long. We do have a meeting to discuss with... Mr. Lott. Uh, I'll get my coat. 
Oh no, please take your time. We would just like you there before nightfall. If you have anything else that needs to get done, by all means, but do not, don't worry. When you get to the lot, when you get to Jovial Lot, someone will be there to pick you up. I fetch my coat. <laughs> I'm gonna keep wearing this coat pretty much all night. You're looking pretty intimidating in that. I, th- I think it's worth worth keeping on. <laughs> yeah, it makes like a statement. They're, they're strong. Yeah, it looks like a giant bird. Yeah, and we saw what those did in the arena. Sorry, Nitra. <laughs> what? Exactly. <laughs> She's found a new center. And my center is punching Barabbas. Yes, it will be. We'll, f- we'll find a good day for a rematch for you. Oh, we could have that arranged as well. Oh, I'm sure you can. <laughs> of course we can. We own this entire island. I, I, that has been made abundantly clear. <laughs> and hopefully next time, Mr. Castor won't be in the picture for that one. I'd like a good fight. What do you mean by that? Like, I'm not going to try and stop you he from... Do- he doesn't respond, and he walks away. Okie dokie. You need some help with that one? Because based on everything I've heard about this guy, I'd love to, to take a crack. <laughs> He'll be part of the discussion later. Have no fear. Okie dokie. Uh, we'll, we'll be along. You do. You best do that. You watch as, like, someone with a... With like, like, they're holding a crate, and they walk by, and he's gone from sight. He's real good at that. It's pretty impressive. Someone who uh, studies the art of stealth. That guy's got something going on. Like, Ziaka and Reg just look to each other. He's hey. like the Stacy's mom of sneaking. <laughs> <laughs> He's full of magic. <laughs> well, you know what you magic- like? a shame. That's actually the worst song on the album. The rest of the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> No, it's quite all right. <laughs> so, is there anything else you guys would like to do before go- heading over to the lot? There's nothing else that I can possibly think of that we really need to do. Yeah, I'm all set. All right. <clears throat> so Just mentally prepared. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll keep the. Uh, Who are you bringing with you? Is the question. Yeah, that that was going to be my question. Like, obviously, we have to bring the uh, grand design bag with Doc. us because that was one thing that we were asked to bring yep to bring the parcel uh beyond that you're welcome to bring anyone else you want along with you all right um least somebody that knows pirate law would be good well either that, uh that would be either pliskin scrung or pliskin scrung risk or golfer i feel like pliskin might be he seems the most level-headed out of You know all what? We'll there. travel with Pliskin. We we'll travel with Pliskin. Bring what? what? Him along. Even Pliskin. Yeah, you just you see him sitting there in the corner. What? Huh? <laughs> Pliskin, it's been, you're me? It's been 300 years. <laughs> you're up. Who has spoken my name? <laughs> Wait, what phase of the moon is Wait, it? Wait, I was actually going to say we're going by nightfall, right? So, it yeah, it's, it's, might happen. Yeah, it's like evening now since like there were fireworks going off in your performance. Yeah, it's not it's not a full moon. Okay. All right. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I was ready to have that as a bargaining chip if we needed it, but <laughs> All right, so you're going to bring Priskin along anyone yeah, else? You, yeah, we'll bring Priskin. Priskin. Yeah, yeah, sorry about Good that. Good old Priskin. Yeah, trust, Coffee. Trust, 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 trust Priskin. <laughs> trust me, I had a DM once. I, I in universe, set a Google Calendar alert for the full moon because we had a where thing in our party, <laughs> and he forgot about it. So he had to change the cosmology of his entire universe <laughs> to explain <laughs> why my freaking Google Calendar alert didn't work as it should. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Terrific. All right, so you're going to bring uh, Pliskin along. Uh, beyond that, no uh, else- Risk kind of... Tends to go with him, right? Like yeah, Risk yeah. Risk and Pliskin yeah, are kind I, of a pair. Yeah, you, I, yeah I'm, if you I'm take one of them, the other one's coming. I'm f- I'm fine with that pair. And I'd like to bring Skrung. Hmm. They, Is that too many people? They, that might be too many. Asking. They said that Nedra was part of the plan, right? No. No. Was that uh, a, was that a roll, different? If you guys really don't know, roll intelligence. If you don't remember, they, they said they wanted to bring something up about her, but I don't think she was part of the plan. Nat twenty. Yeah, they pretty much, st- they stated that Nedra uh, has some ties to this in some regard when it comes to Lot and his group, but it was nev- they were going to speak about it, they never said she was needed. Yeah, okay. okay. And I think keeping her away from there is, like, yeah. safer. Yeah. I was, I was going to say, <laughs> I, I don't know if that's a reason to bring her or a reason against bringing her, just wanted to bring that up. <laughs> Ziaka is just sitting, th- she's now hovering behind you, just, like, ready to go. 
I, I suppose she does have a huge stake she, in this. She does have a big vested interest in this. I'm tired of waiting. All right. Well, you know what? We'll Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, you, come come on you, along. You, you've told her to wait for like five days now, and she's been like, when the fuck are we going to do something All about right. this? And before we go, I'm going to slap the return part of the pyramid in one of our, uh, like, just kind of downstairs in our ship. All right. Like, the part that if we have to stick something to the other end, it'll... Just remember, activating it, once you do so... 24 hours. A week. Oh, it lasts for a week, it, sticking it, there? After 24 hours, it recharges every week. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's why I said, like, this is a very... Like, if you want to do something, you best make sure that this is the last made, pl uh, the <laughs> last made plan. Okay. Mm. It... The charge lasts for 24 hours. The uh, recharge okay. lasts you have a week. To, okay, you have yeah. to wait a week to use so it again. So if you activate gotcha. it, that 24 hours begins. Gotcha. Yeah, so if we set this down, that means after 24 hours from now, it's a week until we can use it again. Well, we got no, these... they, they probably wouldn't bring the heart to this meeting. Well, we got, the, we got the scrying stones, right? What if we left one of these here and left somebody here, and that way, if we need it turned on on the quick, we just send them a little scry like, hey, buddy. There you I go. I like your style, Eloy. All right, then who are we keeping here? Uh, Golfer. All right. Golfer will be here. Golfer's the most uh, trustable of, of the group. To I guess Scrung can be here as well. Grammy will be here. I it mean, will be here. If, if it does, you're going to place trust in it? The I yeah, see, love it. The creature you found in a purple worm's enclosure? It's terrific, but I don't know if it would get the command. I'm just saying it's here. Stick this pyramid. It is here. It is not, it's not a matter of who do I trust. It's a matter of who is actually here. I mean, it, it like moseys on up to the scrying orb. No! <laughs> I mean, I mean, he can lick it, I guess. He's trying to eat it. Tink, tink, ang, ang, ang. Uh, I put it up in a, uh, oh, God, what's the thing? I'm like, a, a, like, kind of like a cistern sort of thing where it's just kind of sitting so people can talk into it. Yeah. Has it been 24 hours? Can I drench it in vinegar to make sure he doesn't want to eat it? <laughs> no, cisterns for water. What am I thinking of? It'll come, uh, uh, oh, fuck. Sconce. Hey. Sconce. Yeah. All right, so uh, you're going to bring... Uh, Riss, Pliskin, Scrung, and Nedra along, yes? Uh, no, we're, we're leaving, leaving Nedra. Nedra. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Ziaka. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I've been, a, I've been away for a week back in New York, and I come back, and I'm like, oh, wait, that's right. These characters exist. Shit. <laughs> all of them. That's all right, of there's them. A we whole... have collected all of them. That's right. There's a whole universe. Imagine, imagine if we had brought along Yogg, Rick, and Gloriosa, Zito. <laughs> imagine how many. Eh. <laughs> How would Gloriosa have reacted to the yeah. lots? Like, like the think, real god, you love your creations when they're I think new, we and then go after a new couple years, I'll oh, fuck these one. guys. <laughs> I mean, pistachio. <laughs> All right. So we'll travel. We'll travel with uh, Pliskin, Scrung, and I guess I guess Risp isn't necessary at that point. So Ziaka, just keep it in an even well, six. Risp, yeah, you don't have to take him, but he's like, if you need me to go, I can go. I'll just wait here. Uh, I'll, I'll tell Riss just to kind of, like, wait by the scrying orb if we need him. Okay. Perfect. All right, so you guys head over to the giant Epcot-looking enclosure. Well, here we go. You go inside. Uh, you pass through a gate. The, it's completely dark going through a tunnel. Almost seems familiar in a way. <sighs> I wonder which one we'll run into this time. Just psyching himself up. Ezra's just keeping it to himself, but the tension is mounting. Gorge fellas, welcome! <laughs> Turn around, there's a guy in a seahorse outfit. Whoa! If it isn't... <laughs> I don't think we've met this one. I don't think we've been informed about this one. I know I remember there was a seahorse, I just... Uh, his name was... <laughs> there was Seely the Seal, Pinchy the Crab. I got a six, I probably don't remember. <laughs> uh, I got a 17, what's that do for me? There was a seahorse one, but it was not given a name to you. Okay. Ah, then he's you know what? I feel better. Please take a stab at what it is. <laughs> Seahorsey. Horsey. Yeah! <laughs> Horsey the seahorse. <laughs> it's me, Horsey the seahorse. Welcome to Jovial Lot! There's I, horses I, in the sea? I move over to Nedra. This isn't how seahorses act. Ziaka. Oh, yeah, Ziaka. <laughs> It's totally unrealistic. Hey, is there sea donkeys, too? Gorsh, I don't know. All right, that makes two of us. 
asking way too hard of questions as for Eloy. <laughs> they um, only give me two copper an hour, sir, please. That's, have, have two gold. That seems like below minimum wage. I'll dance for you every single which way. Are you the ones that were supposed to? Have 20 gold. Oh. Keep dancing, monkey. <laughs> Horsey. Horsey. Uh, ho- I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, miss, Mr. Horsey, Mr. Horsey. <laughs> Shut up, I'm dancing. Can't you see? I'm making a paycheck today. Here's 50. Answer his questions. <laughs> What do you need, sir? Welcome to the jovial lot. Jeez, this guy gets a bit of money in his hand and he just can't stop spending. He's just real happy about getting tipped. Fucking Rockefeller over here. <laughs> Eloy's just in a very jovial spirit today at uh, jovial Mr. lot. Mr. Horsey, we have a very important meeting uh, with a Mr. Lot, and we were told that someone would be here to pick us up. Is that you? What? No! <laughs> if, if you need to talk to someone, speak to the manager. Then. All right, proceed to dance, and I flick another cold hand. <laughs> okay, here I go. <laughs> here I go dancing again. Here I go dancing again. This is what it's like to be a GM on live. Here I go. <laughs> I got me some night vision goggles. <laughs> I don't know why I have these goggles. <laughs> Come on, the jingling. Okay, so thank you so much for your time as a <laughs> as a fellow entertainer and and uh, actor. I just want to want to say I, I adore your dedication. I'm to 18 years old, <laughs> and you're going places, Mister. <laughs> so accompanied by a dancing man in a seahorse outfit. You better be ta- tap dancing oh, all no, the way along. He's he's fucking like this man's just doing like. So you know that fucking move and break dancing where they get on their back and they just go. And they're like dancing on top of like <laughs> that's what this guy's doing as you're going out of the tunnel. Yes. So he's breaking two electric boogalooing. Yeah, all pretty over fucking us. much. Like you pretty much now have a, a man in a seahorse costume doing like you just got serve moves behind you. Sweet. Uh, this place is a giant fucking carnival. There's a Ferris wheel. There's like little. There's a little animal section where a bunch of the bigger and meaner looking animals, and especially some elephants, are walking around with kids to ride on. There's carnival games out the wazoo, and to everyone's perception check. Uh, fourteen. Fifteen. Also fourteen. There's uh, some oddly familiar smells in the air when it comes to food. You look over to the side. And there's a bunch of people huddled around a small, almost non, like a wooden, a wooden stand that doesn't look like it should be there. It looks like it was just tacked in there for one last second. And uh, does it smell sweet? No, it doesn't wow. smell sweet. But it does say uh, "secret" across the top of it. She works so quick. I head over there. I'll take <laughs> one. I, I I just I want to get a closer look. I'm, I haven't voiced nope, myself. I'll take I, one. I haven't drawn there, any there attention. Are, uh, by the just... by the way, all the uh, before I just get onto that, the crowd around you, like these are all like rich, noble-looking people. This is all like Genasi, uh, humans, elves, and uh, sorry, uh, Asimar. Uh, all just like th- these people look noble as all get out. They, uh, there, there's not a, there's not one person here who doesn't look like they're at least walking around without 500 gold in their pocket. To Scrung's happiness as he kind of just like <laughs> sitting there like, have at it, buddy. Mm, boy. Uh, you head over, you head over there. Nope, I'll take one. You take one. There's a, uh, it's a small child with a lemonade stand. I'll take one. Would you like the secret ingredient? Yes, please. What is the secret ingredient? Or do I have to guess it? Is this a game? Yes. All right. Hey, uh, Horsey, you want some secret ingredient? I'm so thirsty! <laughs> I'll take three. Thank you, sir! <laughs> I take one for me and hand... Uh, uh, how much do I owe him? <laughs> Just splash. The she, child. She, she, she the child's like, one copper. Aw, I'd toss her a copper. And I chug. <laughs> what do I need to roll? Nothing. It's just lemonade. Okay. What do I need to roll to guess the secret ingredient? Survival. All right. Or wait, no. I apologize. You're actually. Are you? What? What are you looking for in this? What's? The, what do you think the secret ingredient is? Because it will determine what your role will be. Does it taste strange to me at all in any way, shape, or form? That's a survival check. All right. First, I'll roll for that. Uh, fifteen plus six, twenty-one. Twenty-one. 
Nah, dude, lemon, sugar, and water. Is it love? Yeah. All right, high five. She, the little kid like gets up. It's it's a li- it's a, a little like elf girl with a little with a broken leg split. It goes. Eh, eh. Oh, that looks like it hurts. It does sometimes, sir. I give her a uh, healing potion. Oh, well, I'm not spo- the Mr. Lyston not both to take anything from strangers. Well, I'm not a stranger, am I? My name is Sheldon Flash. Okay, Sheldon, you a customer. You're Sheldon Flash. I am Sheldon Flash. All right, good. You stay here. I will stay here. Okay, everyone, more lemonade. Come here, please. Great. <laughs> Moved by this little girl's uh, display, I use my actor skill. Uh, <laughs> I have heard uh, the angel people whose race's name I is Asmar. slipping. The Asmar. I've heard them speaking for well over a minute, I think. <laughs> so I, I understand their like kind of tone. Their Ooh. yes, their it's a very rich <laughs> posh talk. And I just say in the loudest voice with this actor skill, my, my, this is the most delicious lemonade I have ever had the pleasure of drinking. Daddy, I want lemonade. Okay, son, we'll get you some lemonade. <laughs> that two-year-old. Oh. Daddy, lemonade, please. Well, <laughs> All right, daughter. Yeah. <laughs> have you sampled the platter, daughter? I look over at the little girl and just wink with a thumbs up like, that'll get you some customers. I'll take one, please, flipping a coin at her. It sure will. Thank you very much. Don't bring too many people around, dude. We're trying to get someone to bring you downstairs. Oh. Yeah, way to go, oh, Captain. Oh, my mistake. This lemonade <laughs> seems rather grotty. <laughs> <laughs> this little girl is just like, all right, I guess that works. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Father, never mind. <laughs> Don't Father, blow. it's garish lemonade. Garish! It's uh. lemonades for the peasants. Lemonade, a pauper's drink. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let's go. Is there any alcohol some fresh in this lemonade? Juice. No, I take my leave. <laughs> <laughs> One pureed caviar, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Everyone kind of disperses finally, but then the little girl's looking at you, just like, mm, 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 get rid of him. <laughs> uh, Mr. Horsey, you can go dance that way now. Go dance for those people. I toss him a gold. Here I go. <laughs> Cartwheels into a statue and falls over. Is he gonna be okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bu- hey, buddy, come find us at the merchant's docks later. I might have more work for you. Okay! That's not where we're docked. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like Family Guy fell over that whole time. I thought we were at the merchant's dock. Nah, we got moved to the call port. Oh, You're at the call right. port. The call, the call port! What? Okay. I can't see anything. <laughs> there, you can't this, see anything. This guy's a, a master performer. I'm not letting him get away. A consummate professional. Sir, if you need <laughs> refunds, let's step behind here, please. I'd love to give you some if you don't think my lemonade's great. Yes. She, she like, the little girl, like, points to you to follow her behind, uh, behind one of the stalls. All right. I follow. This way, everyone, for all the lemonades we bought. <laughs> Follows along. Takes off the hair, reveals cat ears, takes off the face mask. Actually, the entire skin changes color. You watch it go from skin to fur. I'm going to ask about that later. I want one of them. <laughs> it's going to cost you a lot of money, pal. Yeah, I imagine. It ro- this cat looks familiar. It's a little munchkin cat. Hey, weren't you the one that... Uh... Were you at the uh, Navy dock earlier? A little bit of something like that, yes. All right. What happened out there? Oh, uh, you know, uh, someone found out that... Uh, one of our cute little toys that we were shipping in ran on technology. And uh, now that guy's probably going to be left to hang at Ibercall. Woof. That's, yeah, uh, woof indeed. Rough. And that's coming from the cat. I was going to say, I think they're more a meow crowd, but your message gets across. That was perfect. Thumbs up. All right, one second. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, well, I guess if they didn't give, I guess Confectora never gave you a name if he didn't tell you exactly who was going to send out for you. Nope. All right, well, my name's Gavriel. Bazamets is my last name, so whichever one you want to call me is fine. I'm the guy who makes sure that all the stuff around here is... Little did safe, he know, safe. I knew that name. <laughs> stares at you. You finished? <clears throat> yeah, just clear my throat. Good, because I hate being interrupted! He flashes his gun. No, no, it's fine. I liked him better as a little girl. He's like a little kitty scrum. Yeah, you like that uh, disguise kit? That's uh, one of our new toys we're working with. Uh, really fun stuff. Uh, I do a lot of stuff like that. I'm the guy who makes sure that all the technology around here is uh, disguised to look like magical stuff. That's my job. It's a very taxing and very anxiety-driven job. Especially for someone of my size. I feel like I'd have a heart attack at any second. But in any case... I hand him an ounce of pipe weed. <laughs> oh, you might need. <laughs> Whoa, man, on the job? <laughs> With the bosses right around the corner. Oh, you're going to meet my boss in a hot second. Don't worry about it. I make sure everyone else around here does their job uh, properly and uh, up the specs into code, so I am the boss. Don't worry about it. Ah, I'll you keep that so. in mind. Hmm. You'll keep that in mind. That's, that's nice. Uh, just uh, uh, don't, don't walk around outside while we're well, with the customers when it comes to technology. We'll, you'll see a lot of bunch of uh, really neat stuff down below. And uh, also, you let anyone else know, We'll kill you. Of course you mm. will. Of course we will. We own the entire island. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's been a... I don't know. That's, that's been made clear. Trust me. I, I heard this crying orb. I was the one who made it. Oh, okay. That makes, much, that makes more sense. Does that mean you got another one up there, huh? That's fun. I mean... They hard. probably have plenty. I mean, you're, during your whole performance, we snuck another one on board. Of course you did. I'd, I'd want to watch my performance, too. How expensive mm -hmm. are those? Uh, the ones we make? Yeah. Uh, pretty expensive. What do you, what do you, what's, your, what's your number? What's expensive? I don't know. Like, a thousand gold seems pretty expensive. <laughs> a thousand gold. That's funny. Ours don't uh, need to recharge. That's pretty neat. Yeah, 50K. 50. I smirk to myself knowing exactly how much money I cost them by breaking the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. Uh, we can make more. There's plenty of opportunity to make more. I mean, uh, that's uh, part of why uh, the boss wants you to come down here, to help us make something even more fun. Yep, that's why we're here. All righty. Speaking uh, of, where is the guy? All right, well, uh, just if you'll uh, step this way real quick, he, like, he walks you over to like somewhere where the, the entire area is like completely blanketed by the stalls. Like There's very little escape of light except for looking up. He uh, opens up a hatch that leads into the floor, and it's a it looks like what looks like a manhole to a sewer grate. In you go. Okie dokie. I jump down. Using my dark vision, I take down. a look. If there's something to grab on the way down, I will surely grab it. But well, there was a ladder. Well, then I will grab the ladder. Okay, good, because I was like, you want to jump down all the way, because uh, I was about to say, what a thrill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we. <laughs> <laughs> so after a, an intense thrill that takes you at least 10 minutes to get down, you finally reach a platform that looks like a giant <clears throat> ring of, it looks like a giant, like there's cobblestone on the floor. It looks like this place was actually very well made. It was, it's cobblestone surrounded by really well made bits of metal and piping. I'm curious, how does Ziaka uh, traverse a ladder? clenching her body very tightly alongside of it. So Fair enough. There's you've, a, you've played more snake pass than any of us. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, she snake passes her way down. And, yeah. what, and she also yeah. has two arms. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so whoever's like going down, uh, whoever's going down then followed by Ziaka is going down the ladder looking up and she's facing down, slithering downward. You're able to have a conversation. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's fucking Pliska just like, well, this isn't terrifying to look at whatsoever. Stretches her jaw a little. Yeah, she yawns in his face. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, so you're led down. Uh, is there any light down here at all? Yes, there is. Okay. Uh, there is light, though not light that you've ever seen before. This is stuff that's held together by what looks like wires. And, of course, this is going to sound stupid because it's lighting. 
but to everyone else, this is like this magical. Yeah, this is this is some kind of new shit that you've never seen before. No one has ever seen this kind of uh, tech before. It's all strung up with Filaments wires and wires filled, filled in glass, and what looks like there's some kind of like crystal that keeps flickering in and out. It doesn't look like it's charged with arcane, and even Ziaka is like, like, no, I I can't sense any magic down here. I just poke one of the glass orbs. Tink, tink, tink. It burns your finger. Ow, it's hot. Of course it is. It's radiating energy for an entire, like, for the past 24 hours. That seems... All right. That's technology. If you could find... That's my job. If we could find some way to keep it powered and keep it going, we could have infinite power sources no matter where we are. Well, what is your power was, source you, for this? Yeah, I was going to ask. Where's the power for this? We harness the... Elec... I, I figured you wouldn't know what that is. So you know that stuff that comes out of the sky when the sky gets really gray? Lightning and stuff? Rain. Ah. Well, rain, yes. Well, hmm. He, like, write, he starts, like, he takes out, like, a little notepad from behind his ear and starts writing stuff down, like, rain as power source. Cool. Anyway. It's, uh, already, it's already real good at cleaning my clothes. Yeah. Device that cleans clothes. <laughs> So, you know that stuff that the sky generates that uh, if it strikes you, you die? Ah, thunder. Mm. Rock slides. There you go. Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> Th- yeah, so uh, there are plenty of magical items that do that kind of stuff. We down here, we uh, try to create that and make it into its own infinite source. Ah. So you just have like a so you like have- a room of thunder that is sending power to these things? Or? Sort of like that. So light at all times. Yeah, my like job without fuel. Without my hands. job down here is to uh well, it's kind of fun. My job down here is to get any new fun little magical items that seem, I don't know, kind of broken and uh <laughs> we transform it into ways that we could utilize it for more than just once. We're tired of like all the magic being regulated and we're tired of all the magic like having It sure would be nice if we had, you know, oh, I don't know. If there was a bad guy in front of me right now, and I had a little device that was a stick that made them fall down and never wake up again. Kind of like my glove. I like uh, po- I, I, I poke at one of the lights and use my shot glove zap. <laughs> he like jumps at your arm and pulls you away. Don't do that. Okay. Do, do not do that. While it is fun, this stuff is very temperamental. Ah, okay. Really sorry about that. I just kind of nudged, <laughs> nudge wake. We are guests here to a pirate lord. I really think we should try to be as careful as we can. I just like flicker my fingers apart. You hear like hooves clicking in the distance and a little carriage with like a guy sitting on a horse. Uh, another cat folk sitting on a carriage with two horses pulling it like just rolls on by. Get in. Shrug. <laughs> I get in. All right, you guys are taken down a small corridor. Uh, kind of a cramped ride, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cramped. It's this tunnel system. However, it does take you out near a small bridge, and it opens up. You are now underneath like the entirety of this whole uh, complex. Underneath it is a large, a large cavern, pretty much that is full of like silos and a bunch of people playing with technology and magic. These are all cats just working on stuff. This looks like pretty much a dwarf empire, but with a bunch of cats working with experimental magic. I'm getting a very world underneath Disney World vibe from this. <laughs> this pretty much it. Yeah, I like nudge scrum. <laughs> right, I nudge scrum like, so this isn't like the Underdark. This is different, right? It's some kind of Underdark. Huh. He like he like leans up to the car- uh, carriage and looks to the open window next to it. He starts talking to the guy in the, uh, who's driving the carriage and thieves can't, and he actually responds back to him. Do I hear anything? Is it anything that would matter to me? No, he's just like, okay. hey, buddy, what time is it? Oh, uh, you know, it's pretty dark down here. He responds back in thieves can't. It's like a common just like, no, you're, you're in a thieves guild. Don't worry. Uh, Checks out. <laughs> <laughs> so... You guys keep going uh, over this bridge, watching as like all the cat folk are like just taking like say like oh I don't know like a staff of like a wand that just shoots fireballs, and you see one guy writing down information, uh, another guy is like practicing it on a dummy, and another guy is actually like breaking the device and trying to put it in like what looks like something that just incinerates items. 
Uh, on the other side of you are a bunch of folks who are like in guard uniform. They look like they're wearing, it doesn't look like plate mail, but it looks like a sort of vest that underneath it looks like it has metal and they're all carrying around muskets. Like these guys look like they're ready to just aim point and end something that goes awry. No one here is, like, there are people carrying around swords, but there are more, like, it's people breaking apart stuff and putting it back together as something new. So this is just a giant tinkering workshop. It's like, oh, I don't know, Santa's workshop, but with cats. <laughs> kind of like the Gimme Brothers. Hmm. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, you actually, you, you say that out loud? Yeah. Uh, Basimitz kind of turns to you and just goes, oh, you know those two, huh? Yeah, I... Uh, that kind of makes sense. Lot did say that you uh, were sent here by Mead's crew. Really nice guys. Uh, we did a lot of collaboration with them a couple of years ago. Yeah, they're the ones that gave me this glove, and they... That's why I kind of stopped you there, because I can tell that make. And if I know the Gimme Brothers, and with experimental technology around us as we have here, something will go wrong, and will probably kill every single one of us. I keep that in mind. <laughs> we also have that magic gun that we... Still haven't found a use for. All right, so after the ride finally stops, you're taken to a large, like, what looks like a tower sort of facility. You are brought inside. There's, there are now just, like, like, so how this place looks, it's a giant island that's above a giant cavern, and underneath it is water that looks like rising seawater, and there are ships all docked around it. So it's a... It's basically just a giant inlet cave. Pretty much. And it's, it's, like a, it, it's pretty much like a mother base platform with a bunch of ships around it underneath where the uh, platform is being risen. Okay. Uh, you are taken inside. There's a bunch of more of these cat folk with uh, garbs on. Uh, Bazemets takes, uh, takes you upstairs a couple of floors. There's a giant... Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> there's a seven-foot-tall burly Norwegian forest cat female brandishing a hammer looking at you all with her arms folded. Saga, these are the folks that Mead sent. Hello, Saga. She grabs your arm, pulls you in, like, sniffs at you and then everyone else. I know who you are and let's go of you. Ha <laughs> ha, you've heard of us. Did, did you heard. see my performance, too? I can smell you from the zoo. Oh! The place I own. Zoo. Zoo. That's, uh... Does that I, ring any bells, uh, you guys? I know Nedra wanted to go at some point. Yeah, she, oh, that's petting zoo. She said something about that in her talent right up Yeah. Like, that's what I'm thinking of. Is that... Uh, I'm... Deception. Nineteen. <laughs> I know what you took. Oh. That's, that's right, I... Oh, that zoo! That zoo. Yes. That zoo, the only one that's in this entire island, the one that is a catalog of every creature I ever hunted, brought down myself and put inside that zoo, the one that you stole property from, that zoo. You're right. We I present the plus one scythe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I figured I was helping. You can have it back. It was just stuck in that bat's wing, that poor thing. She holds her paw out to you. Where's the rest? What rest? What, are you talking about the tusk from that elephant? Ah, a confession then. <laughs> we were told to remove that! I look over at you like, what are you doing? Specifically, we were told he had a case of tusk rot. We took that out, and our friend disposed of it. 
look, uh, we love to give you his information, but he just totally teleported away at the end of all that. I know this sounds. Do you? Yeah, I was about I know to fucking this, say. I know this sounds ridiculous, <laughs> but trust me, if you'd been there, you'd know it was even more ridiculous and than you could possibly to, imagine. And you would have been happy to see him go tusk or not. She still has her hand out. I spent one hundred thousand gold in bribing the families of the victims that fell inside the pit. And we saved those children. No, you left them. No, I saved them. I know you did, but you left them. I would have preferred it if you killed them, because then I wouldn't have to bribe children who don't believe in bribes. Who speak about things that happen even if you tell them not to, which are a liability, which... Oh, that's right. The Navy's here, and that's a liability. You didn't kill those kids, did you? No, I didn't, as much as I wanted to. Good. This will be part of the discussion. Go inside. I walk in. I do, too. Yep. You just hear this venomous growl as you walk past her. I think she likes you guys, Bahamut says, walking in. Just like, say, ah, that went well. Yeah, I seem to have that reaction to your folk. Yeah, I seem to have that reaction around your people. All right, so you head inside. This place is fucking huge. It's a giant, like, regal everything. There is gold all over the place. This guy is decked out. This is, I don't know, it's a, a giant, looks like a giant pimp's room. All it's right. a, Giant fucking place filled with nothing but gold. Garish as hell, basically. Garish as hell. And there is. You see, why decorate like this when you're going to keep it like a mile underground for no one to see? It's because I have taste, sir. I have taste. I mean, we're seeing it. They're clearly very refined. I feel like it's something you'd want to show off, I say, just continually looking around and. Oh, this is only a court. This is not even. (laughs) This is not even a hedgehog's needle of what I own. As you look over to the table, who's talking to you, you see the chair swivel around and sitting there with just like stretches out. Oh, I was going to say, please tell me he's petting another smaller cat. <laughs> <laughs> you, you say that? No, it wasn't a cat. He has a dog. Oh. All right. He has a little chihuahua. Also, for, also perfect. Uh, a short-haired orange tabby with dark red eyes adorned in a fancy red and green cloth. Garfield. Coat and adorned in a feathery cap. One coin for every major heist he has ever pulled is adorned on this hat. But it's a lot of coins. I was, I'm looking at Ziaka's reaction to this room. Yeah, I imagine like she has that little like tail wiggle. Like if she was a rattlesnake, it would be going off. Oh yeah, no, she's just like, oh boy, this is fun. I like this place. See, I can think how happy the collective one will be if you restrain yourself here. I'm trying, I'm trying so hard. <laughs> you're you're gonna get so many brownie points. Roll persuasion, please. Nine. Okay, you got a better bonus than I thought. Yeah. I keep, for, I keep forgetting you're also cares. There's already a golden bowl inside her cowl. Nope, nope. Oh, we're going to stop that right here. I uh, try a sleight of hand out from her cow. Go for it. 17. You can tell that, like, based on how big her cow is, it just goes... Hey! Just catch it from the bottom. Yeah, just catch it from the bottom. And set it back on the yep. table. Can I act like that? Never happened. See, how could you... Do you need a hand? Do you, do you need some assistance keeping your hands to yourself? I can make that happen. No, Eloy, this is rather important. You are right. I am here as behest of the collective one to retrieve something back that was stolen from my people. She's saying this out loud, looking at Lot. <laughs> and meanwhile, Lot's just sitting there with the dog. Can I get rid of this fucking thing? He, he literally just like tosses the dog into a giant like mound of pillows to the side. <laughs> so into the fact- a bowl of discarded dogs. <laughs> <laughs> this one bores me. 
<laughs> Give me another litter. <laughs> so and the uh, fact Aunt, that oh, Aunt Victoria is also there beside him, just like ushering you guys to come forward. Just like, ah, come in. Hey, Connie V, welcome. <laughs> it's, it hasn't, it's been a while. Don't call me that again. Uh, then please don't sneak up on us. <laughs> Can we have a deal and on that? And then there's Lot just goes, you know, he's got a point, Connie. Don't say that, sir. All right, so the fact that you've called us here rather than just having us attack. Oh, come on, sit down, please. Fine. Dude, here you go. Just He just, like, claps his hands, and you watch as the floor opens up, and there's chairs, like, really comfy chairs that just appear. Sit down. I don't know how, what I'm going to do about the snake woman, but, uh, now, nah, please, please. I know, me told me about you guys. Don't, do not worry. Just come on, sit down. Pops open some wine. All right, dude, do you want some? You want some? Come on. <laughs> I'll, I'll take a drink. Ah, come on, here you go. I'll sit down. He, I'll he, take a seat. You, you take a seat. He's like, wine? Ah, you look like you're really young. Wine. Here, just take it. I'm he, fine. He throws it at you. <laughs> Maybe later. I set it down. You are cup drenched in wine. <laughs> and you? You? Anyone? Come I'm on. Glad I wear dark, I'm glad I wear dark colors. Gladly, sir. Ah, here you go. Man, with your refined taste, I'm sure. Tries to not get spilled as he throws it to him. To him. Up, up, up. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. <laughs> I mean, still got a good bonus. Yeah, nine. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. <clears throat> I'm sure it's going to be delicious. We didn't have spirits where I came from. Turns out I have a real low tolerance. Oh, this will be even more fun for you. Here, hold on. Pulls out a cork of uh, of uh, whiskey. Oh, I, I don't Here know if go. that's a good idea. Oh, no, it's the best idea. Trust me, I swear. All right, I'm just I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. Uh, Meanwhile, there's Skrung, uh, Skrung, Pliskin, and Ziaka. Just she when he throws the thing to her, she's just like. <laughs> ah, she doesn't look fun at all. Oh, that's that's kind of upsetting. You know, uh, you'd uh, I I'd cheer up if I were you, sweetheart. We got someone in here who uh, has wrestled with your kind before, and we kind of uh, may have one of you on display. Let's not have that happen again here. We really want to keep this formal. Anyway, uh, so welcome to Jovial Lot. I'm sure you know who I am. I've been made aware. Getting a feeling you're a Mr. Lot. Nailed it. This man nailed it. You are just fucking, you're a peach. Pulls awesome. out another drink. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, we're here to discuss a couple of things. Uh, so, we got a couple of messages from Mead. Uh, don't worry, mess words go around. A lot of the pirate lords kind of know a little bit about you guys. Not too much, because we like to at least keep a little bit of a low, a low key about things like that. We certainly don't want the Rumbloods knowing about you, because uh, they're kind of a chaotic mess, and we don't want to deal with that shit. Anyway, uh, so, you, you, this guy's like fumbling on himself. He's just like, oh boy, where do I begin? This is, this is fun. I, I get to see the guys who... Uh, Oh yeah, the the guys who uh, stole away. Uh, one of my uh, good friends is. Uh, 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 what's a good word to put it? Investments, right? Investments. You took my one of my investments. That's really nice. Uh, it'll be just fine. Excuse it's fine. Me. No, 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 no. Shh, 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 shh. You took one of my investments. Uh, I really shouldn't allow that shit to happen. It's kind of really bad. I, uh, I fired Third Day very fast if, uh, for the fact that he didn't uh, make sure that my assets were kept very, very safe. Uh, okay, so I took care of that. But you know what? It's fine, though, because then that means you have to keep tabs on her, and that's super okay because everyone else in our little clique, as long as they're within that little clique, everything's fine. So no skin off my back. No problem whatsoever. Super good that you're keeping tabs on her. Thank you, by the way. We'll talk about that afterwards. Anyway, where to begin, where to begin, where to begin? Ah, yeah, that's right. Uh, do you have the package? I do. Ah, oh, fantastic, I have it. I take it out from, like, my little pack in the back, and I slide it across the table to him. <laughs> he, like, grabs it, just like, you want to be careful with this. This is very important, delicate stuff. Uh, so, passes it off to Convictora. Uh, Victoria, can you do me a favor and just, like, make sure this is the real deal? Convictora looks at the seal that was stamped by Mead, puts his finger to it, releases, and the package opens. No bomb, no explosion, nothing of that sort. 
impressive stuff. Starts flipping through the papers that are inside. It's all documentation. You can see it's papers, but he doesn't like actually pull it out. He just like. As you can see, the seal hasn't been messed with. We haven't opened it. We haven't looked at it. Mm. I can concur. They are very, very honorable, as it seems. Oh, that's great. You guys, you guys would be so good with the pirate code. Do you know the pirate code? You, you do too over there. You look like you know the pirate code. He looks over to Skrung and, and Pliskin, just like, yeah, we, we know the pirate code. Oh, that's great. That's great that you know that you're in a parlay and you knew this would be a bad situation if you didn't agree. Yeah, well, we kind of did. Awesome. And, uh, okay, so, we have a lot of things to discuss. Let me go ahead and find the paper that says that. He's, like, throwing papers all over the side. He's, like, <laughs> he's just, okay, no, that's not what's going on here. That's not what's going on here. Okay. Just look over it and wake. I usually like guys with a lot of energy, but this is making me a little tense. This guy is, fuck, uh, speak case in point, a fine mess. So... Yeah, by the way, uh, throughout this, I'm not actually sitting on the chair. I'm doing kind of like the air chair hover squat, just in case he has like a magic button that can send these shooting down. <laughs> <laughs> Eloy doesn't, doesn't work well with two-legger chairs, so he's still standing. Hmm. Ezra is doing his best to appear as a model guest and just being very comfortable but polite. All right, so... Let's, uh, let's go on to this one other thing. So I hear you guys uh, broke into my zoo. Well, technically we were invited. No, that's fair. You, you guys did a really good con job on us, I'll tell you that much. You, you, you did a con job on the people who... Uh, uh, who technically we solved a bunch of problems that you had. That's right. That's absolutely right. We're going to get to that. Let's uh -huh. just get the, let's get the cons out of the way real quick. Let's get the cons out of the way, because that's the stuff that really makes me aggravated, but I know there's a silver lining. I know there's a silver lining. Let me get to those. All right. You look a little tense. Nah, I'm you look a little tense. Uh, and you look like vacant as all get out. Usually, yeah. Oh, that's just fucking great. Here, have some more whiskey. <laughs> hey, you know what this calls for? This calls for a drinking song. Real quick, drinking song. <laughs> By all means, go. <laughs> I, under the cover of playing a jovial drinking tune, cast suggestion on myself to stay sober. <laughs> Con Convictor was just sitting there just like, what are you doing? <laughs> and then he realizes that you're casting it on yourself. What? I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow it. And then raise my glass and... and take a swig. And take Roll a swig. Roll con with advantage. <laughs> Eighteen. Down it like a champ. You've done this all your life. <laughs> done this all your life. Okay, so. You stole some con call uniforms. That took some balls. Some really big balls. Now, you, wa you waltzed on... Just, just, what did that? You just did that right inside my place. Saga's like been upset for days. Can't you tell? L look at that poor... Look at this poor face. He grabs her and like grabs her by the cheek and puts her next to him. She is bigger than this man. She is like a mammoth-sized Catwoman right there. What a peach, this one. Yeah, okay. she, she made her... Uh... She, she, she made her claim, I know. It, it took a lot of us... It took a lot to tell our quartermaster here to make sure she doesn't bite your head off. Anyway, you did do us a couple of favors. That was really nice. We were going to have someone on our side go do that, but you did it, so... You know what? I can't be too mad. I can't be too mad that you pulled a con job on us of all people. That's pretty cool and pretty amazing. But it is a con job. And uh, from, from what I was told, uh, there was four of you and uh, they're not present here. Uh, tell me about that. Well, one of our companions was, uh, let's just say, a, a temporary addition. Say a, a guest star in this little adventure of ours. Well, let me ask. Okay. So you don't know who they are. They, uh, they're kind of working alongside of you. Are they dead? God, I hope so. <sighs> to us, maybe. So <laughs> they had some leverage on us that we just couldn't really let get out there. And <sighs> on top of that, they made the claim that they would be leaving within a 24-hour period if we could get the tusk that has been reported stolen. It was his idea, his plan. 
his fault. He owed that no. tusk to somebody else, apparently. None Some of us wanted anything to do with it. Freakish scavenger hunt. But due to a dark black melee problem, which I am a, I am positive, I, I'm sure that has had to have come up in your line Look, of work let's, at some Let's point. put it this way. It was either... You want me to kill him for you? <laughs> It was either oh. we, it was either we help him with this, or he was going to report everything to the calls. You know what? Roll perception, uh, persuasion. Sorry. Can I assist him? Yeah, sure. Please do. All right. Uh, I rolled a, well, flat twelve. All right. I rolled a uh, fourteen. You know what? That's fair. But I, I, I gotta know. I gotta know this. What did he bribe you with? What, what, what would you get out of this? Us not being told on, basically. Well, no, 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 no. I, 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 I get, that. I get that. I get that. I get that. I super get that. But did he give you anything in return for helping him out with the situation, apart from the blackmail part? The biggest damn headache you ever seen. I mean, he thanked us kindly. Uh, there... <laughs> he never did anything his li- in his life kindly. Don't lie to this man. <laughs> You're right, Eli. Yeah, please don't lie to me. Please don't lie to me. I don't have the fucking headache space to be lied to today. Look, all he did was he came, gave us a story, gave, handed off some trinkets, nothing too major, and left. Deception. Uh, uh, 24. This is some really good whiskey. All right. Okay, I'll buy that. So, <laughs> sure, I'll let it slide. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> it's, it's fine. No, 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 because we're going to get to the reason why you're here. We're going to get to all that. So I can, I can allow this to just slip through the cracks. Now, <clears throat> from what I've been told by my good friend here, uh, Mr. Convictora, uh, and especially from hearing all the mouthy gibberish from that snake lady over there, you guys are here about uh, something we have. Yes, uh, it appears that from Mr. Theraday's, well, formerly Mr. Theraday's location over in Jahal Cove, right. there was an artifact stolen from our friend here's people, and it is actually vitally important for uh, that island that it be returned. Hmm. I see, I see. Uh, that's unfortunate, but... I'm going to have to tell you this. I don't know if you know this, but we're pirates. Yep. I, I've been made aware of that. That's, that's, that's fantastic. I'm sure you couldn't have. Like, we, we've told them multiple times, sir. I'm sure you have, Con Victoria, you fucking macabre bastard. Anyway. It's a good way to put it, sir. Well, I, I mean, he is with the College of Whispers. I mean, he probably told you that, right? I mean, he talks to you, another bard friend. More like the College of Shouting. <laughs> In terms of keeping a secret, that is. Which one's staring at me? Both of them? All of them. Good. (laughs) That sounds like you told someone something, sir. No, it sounds like he was telling us about everything. Okay, okay. As long as we're on that. We're we're, we're okay with that. As long as he's telling you things, and as long as we're all on the same side, and uh, the Navy and the calls don't know jack shit about this, he holds up the, the parcel, no, they don't know anything about that. Oh, thank gods. Thank gods. Okay. I would have had to kill you on the spot. Anyway, now, about this thing. So, uh, why is it important to you? Well... Siaka, like, fucking unsprings herself from her coils and just goes, It belongs to my people. It's what keeps our island afloat. Oh, God, yes, I know. Cry me a river, please. I get it. What does it do? I, I, in case you haven't noticed, I mean, my, my little friend here, the little munchkin friend you got here, he just picks him up by the back of his cuff, like, <laughs> like him. So I don't know what you, I don't know if you, this can get past your little snake brain, sweetheart, but uh, he's part of the R and D department, and that means we uh, research and develop. Uh, so I need details of what this thing does. What does it do? Why is it so important that it tricked you, some fucking snake woman, in the middle of a goddamn island, no one gives a shit about? To come here and try to parlay with a bunch of pirates. I, what does it do? Do you have something to say? What does it do? I assumed it was magic. I don't know. No, no shit, it was magic. You just want the Cupid doll, my friend. Here you go. I'll just pick it up and throw it at you. <laughs> Throws a small little, like, counterfeit-looking-ass, like, cat doll at you. 
Nedra might like this. <laughs> I'm sure she will. But uh, anyway, what does it do? That's what we need to know. It keeps a very big island with a lot of people living on it afloat. Not just her people, but plenty of other people, too. It seems like, I understand you're a pirate, you're way into stealing and, you know, killing, clearly not, you know, beyond your standards, but the genocide of a whole island seems like a lot to... Uh, you're, you, 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 you kind of... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry, I'm making kind of a knowledge check. Uh, not typically my best suit, but I got a 19. 19? If I can, like, decipher. Like, what I'm trying to put together is the collective one definitely has something to do with lava. And this thing, obviously, you know, the collective one's heart. My theory as a player that I'm trying to see if will work, like, some way into Wake's brain is if it somehow creates land or produces, like... Okay, so you're just try you're trying to piece together like what this thing could possibly be used for. Yeah, like okay. my my theory is that it produces like lava out of somewhere and it creates land that way. Yeah, so you you pretty much are you parse together in your mind. I'm, I'm sure you're not going to say this out loud just yet, but yeah. by parsing together what was told of you back at Jahal Cove, you can think that since the collective one is an acolyte of Udoth and Udoth is the the god, god of land. land, it obviously must create earth. Yeah, that's what my theory is. Yeah. Also, not for nothing, the collective one slam dunked a, a man into hell, or I was I was always yeah, real confused. Yeah, there was a real nightmarish display of the creature you stole this from. Uh, the last guy who uh, thought he was gonna stand in everybody's way, and it went real bad for him. This is not a threat in any way, shape, or form. No, I'm no, just, just letting you know that there is a big, scary fucking monster that is also very interested in this. I mean, just the opposite of, of a threat. It was doing us a big old favor because yeah. that guy was trying to kill everything or raise everything as, as undead monstrosities. It's less a threat, more a warning on your behalf that I don't want this monster coming after you if and your fine thing. If it is a big warning, I will let you know about this. We don't plan to hold on to it anymore, but that's not what I asked you. You guys are giving me all the sentimental value as to why you have this thing and are coming to get it. You didn't tell me what it specifically does. I have a and theory. And I'm getting impatient. Yes, what, what? Well, uh, the collective one seems to be related to Udoth in some way, according to our more papal friend. And this thing happens to be the heart of the collective one. Now, the reason that they want it is obviously because it's going to sink the island. Right. My theory is that it creates land in some way, shape, or form. Or at least produces magma, which becomes rock, which raises the island somehow out of the ocean, which, as far as I'm aware, uh, and, you know, it being... Uh, the ocean being something I'm relatively familiar with uh, is rising... Gonna roll an insight for Lot. Roll me persuasion. I know you're telling the truth, but this is for him to believe you. Well, guess the fuck what? <laughs> <laughs> you stumble over your words. You sound nervous. Yeah, so you're pretty nervous to explain this. You're, Name the no, I'm, I'm just saying it real dumb. Yeah, your, your theory is there. But you're conveying it in such a way that it just seems like he's intimidating. Look, you. okay, look, there's, okay, so it's like the, the thing that we're talking about, it's lava, right? And this is its heart, so lava and turns to rock and water, maybe rocks and land, not sinking, but you know, the rocks wouldn't sink, it would raise. Ziaka is just like. I'm looking at Ziaka, right? Oh, okay. She, she, put, she like puts her hand to you and looks over it a lot. It brings forth hot earth from underneath even the deepest depths of the water to create Uda, to create the collective one's new home. There you go, that. That one. Hot rocks in water create rock. Mm. Regular rock. So what you're telling me is we have a device that can raise earth from even out of the water. Artifact, yes. Well, I'm certainly happy you all told me this. Because the damnest thing was gonna happen. Either this meeting was gonna end with me killing you, and we activated this thing, and just set a fucking volcano in the middle of this whole island. Probably wouldn't <laughs> be good. <laughs> that would have sucked! That probably would have been bad. Would have been real bad Ooh. for everyone involved. All right, Basmets, tell your boys about this. This is kind of important stuff. Go! On delay, go! 
Bazemuth is just like, we got. To, he like just runs out of the room. Okay, well, that is great that you told me that because I'm gonna tell you we were actually gonna play with this thing before the calls got their hands on it. Now, thank you for telling us that you solved an entire catastrophe to my entire business. If not, just saved a bunch of people's lives. Who, who cares? They're rich fucks. Who gives a shit? Anyway, okay. Now. You guys need this back, right? Yes. That's the hope. Okay, well, uh, see, I have a little bit of a problem. You see, uh, an informant of ours that you actually guys, you guys know, and we'll get to that after this, an informant uh, from the calls uh, really wants this thing, and yeah. he put up a lot of money, like a stream <laughs> a lot of money to have this in his collection. Uh-huh. Now... Far be it from me to look you all and go, there's no way you could possibly have something to, you know, equal it out or buy it from him or something that you could have that you have on your person of same value. Again, we'll get to that in a second, but I don't suppose you have, oh, I don't know, five million platinum? No. Okay, That's then, a bit then you're not buying range. this thing off me. However, however, now that we know about what this collective one thing does, that kind of does beat out a little bit of the price range on that. I'm not going to give it to you because it's still money. I like, I, as you can tell, <laughs> I really like money. Evident. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not only do you like it, you clearly have a lot of it. Mm. Very e impressive. Even the glasses you were made, of, made out of gold, too. It's very nice. Gold mm. glass. Yeah, and the whiskey has gold in it, too. Little, little bits, not lethal, not lethal. Man, little flakes. This guy just gives away the secret ingredient. <laughs> nah, it's not a secret. I mean, look at this place. It's not a secret. Now, it's only a mile underground, but not a secret. <clears throat> we, we, do, we work very hard to make sure it's that way. I'm just saying, this is very impressive. And as a showman, I, I, just, I think it's such a shame that it has to be covered by a mile of rock. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of rough when... You know, I, I really miss the, uh, the days when I, I used to be just out in the sea and not making sure that our entire operation is not being taken away by the Navy or the calls. Just, I, really, I really like being, I, I'd like to be outside, but the problem is, is that, we, uh, you know, we, we, we kind of have to keep the appearances. Just a, a quick curiosity, you as a, as a pirate lord, renowned seafaring name, when's the last time you've been on a boat out in the ocean? Seems like you've had a lot to deal with down here. I feel like you've probably been, you know, stuck down here. Roll persuasion. Uh, 17. Rolled in that one. Hey! I mean, I'm just asking. This isn't teary-eyed. He looks into the distance. <gasps> yeah, he just, like, uh, he kind of like just stands up from his, from his chair. Picks up a dog. Ah, okay. Thank God. <laughs> I haven't been on the sea in, I'm going to say, almost a decade now. Wow. Same time as Mead, then. Did you guys all just settle down at the same time? I wouldn't call it settled down. There's a few of us who are still active. There's quite a few of us who are still active, but we're all we're all kind of waiting on something. And this was what we're waiting for. Hold oh. up the parcel. Just Glad seems, we could curry it. Just seems like an awful shame that such a such a seafaring known oceanic adventure has to be landlocked for a decade. Well, I mean, I guess that's business. I understand. But. It is business, and it's also business to make sure that stuff like this is kept safe. And is uh, brought to its proper destination. And once everyone is informed, all the pirate lords are informed about this, we can all finally leave this damn blasted little landlock stuck on the southern side of the island to be able to go wherever we wish. Question. Yes. You mentioned all the pirate lords. Last time I checked, that did include Rumblood, yet you seem to not be... Very keen on them at the moment. Hey, it does include them, unfortunately, but uh, uh, how much did me tell you about them? Mead hasn't told me much about them at all except for their name, but I have learned a bit more since then. Mm. There's a reason we keep them around. Uh, they're, very, they're very good uh, distraction and uh, uh, deterrence for the Navy. 
They're not going to kill kids. They're not going to kill kids whatsoever. And, well, they uh, seem to employ kids. They, that, that, that's that's what we do. That that that's kind of the ruse there, kid. The wow. ruse there is that uh, we have little kid combatants from all the onrush stuff that happened a couple of years ago. We put them on boats, let them sail around, do whatever the fuck they wish, and uh, we keep our lieutenants who are alongside of them to pretend as kids and uh, make sure they at least follow the rules. They're really good at doing that. I'll give Rumblood that. He at least follows the code, which is great, because then we would have to kill him. But, <laughs> they're mad dogs. They're all fucking mavericks. Gotcha. They're a little, uh, a little kooky, a little chaotic. Uh, you know, uh, when you give kids a little bit of power, some bad things happen. Unpredictable. Unpred there you go. This man, ho, oh, oh, ho, I like this, this <laughs> I man. hold out my cup for like, like as if yeah, asking for he more. he likes it. <laughs> now, um, so, the man who is buying this out is, uh, one Mr. Caster, and I'm sure you know who he is. I hold up my hand. Yeah. Ah, that's right, that's right. He's kind of a blabbermouth. He, uh, talked about, uh, some things, and, uh, some things that we kind of did some spying on. We didn't spy on you for a lot of things, but the stuff we did do, we know you have a map of somewhere. Yep. Ah, good, good. You're not, you're not gonna fake it, good. You're, good, 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 good. There's no point. Of course there's no <laughs> point. Because, uh, uh, we have had no time and no interest in uh, seeking that stuff out. Uh, but here's something fun. Uh, how do you like heists? I look at the, look at the guys. I think we're into them. Pliskin's like super into them, scrung. I'm, I'm a goblin. Heists are my thing. Oh, amazing. Okay, so I will not let Caster try to outdo me in funds and in this collection because I know for a fun fact that this man's going to probably have you ferry him to this unwitnessed kingdom, I think it's called. He's going to have you ferry there. And he's going to try and find the biggest, baddest, best thing in this entire location. And he's going to try and find some way to keep it for himself. Fuck that. Fuck that. I want you to go with him into this fantastical little kingdom of yours. Bring back something of equal or greater value to that of the heart of the, of the collective one or whatever you call it. And it'll be an even trade. I will give you the heart. No strings attached. And pardon you for all the bullshit you've done. Because let's, let's move on to that step real quick. Before we move on with the proposition. Uh, we know who you have. You have the tiefling girl. Her name is Nedra. Okay, okay, okay. Sh shut up a second. Let me finish my sentence. Now, you see, one of the pirate lords, uh, th they're a tiefling. By the way, they, they, they're all tieflings. They're all fucking hot-blooded, raging demons. And uh, here's, here's something cool. They, uh, do, do you know this, the significance to that girl you have? Well, she's rather tall for her age. Mm-hmm. Seems really strong. Uh-huh. Figured that was a tiefling. And she had a lot of rage. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, so there's more to that. Uh... You're right about all of those things. And it's true, she is a tiefling girl. However, uh, has anyone informed you about what the onrush is? We've been informed a few times. Ah, fantastic. Well, uh, uh, you know the big dark evil that uh, powers all the onrush or kind of like guides them or like just makes sure all the magic gets... The guy in the stories, you had the bar battle, you fucking know. Oh yeah, I got yeah. the scroll right here. Haven't, a haven't had a chance to study it yet. Ah, great. Okay, <clears throat> so get this. You have the daughter of that person. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Big shocker, I know. But here's the fun fact is, uh, we, we have her as a hostage, and he knows. So, uh, uh, we've been kind of chauffeuring her around islands, uh, in the south for as long as we can because he occupies the entire north. Um, now, my good friend uh, Zas Lamel, she was holding on to this girl for the longest time. 
uh, taught her how to fight, taught her how to live, and unfortunately, uh, our good friend upstairs kind of found out about that, so she passed her off to me, and it was my turn to watch over her. So I said, I don't want any of this happening around my business, and especially around volatile stuff like this entire fucking complex. So... I pushed her off to a couple of folks who would want to put her in fight pits, and uh, in came Third Day and said, I'll do it, I'll make some money. He was a real good upstart, that man, but he's fired now. Who cares about what he's doing? I hope he's, like, dead under the water. I'm sure we put cement shoes on him. Anyway, you guys now have her, which is great. It's fu it, This is fantastic, because then that means that by the time they get to us, they won't know you have her. So you saved us a big, big worry. You're welcome. Good to know. Very Sounds good like to know. we did you a favor in that you, you did, you did. You did me a solid favor. Uh, but uh, let me ask, uh, how is she, by the way? What, what is she doing? Like, uh, what, 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 she's what, my what? student now. She's your student. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay, uh, and uh, how's that going? We've managed to get her little rage problem under control. <sighs> did you now? She knows how to write the letter A. She's got a big old spiky bat now. Yeah. She likes that a whole bunch. She hasn't murdered a single person since she's been yeah. with us. She's, See, been, she's been on the boat with us, like, cl <clears throat> close quarters with a big group of people. Plenty of ways for little things to agitate and, you know, anger a person. Not a single incident. Like fighting a hero from a champion of the Onslaught. Of the onrush, I apologize. I mean, if that's what Barabbas was, he then... sure was. I mean, that is a hero of a long, long time ago who's uh, fallen out of grace and now is just doing some fights for fun. And he came to our doorstep, so we're letting him have his little bit of fun. But in any case, uh, that's really good that you have her. It's really good that you're actually kind of like quelling the rage inside of her because that was our biggest concern. Uh, I don't know if she's ever told you, but uh, she's killed people. Like, a lot of really good lieutenants of mine, Zaslamel's, Rumbloods, Meads. She's killed a lot. She's, uh, a as a child, too, and she doesn't remember a lot of them. So we can't tell if she's kind of, like, doing that to, like, be stupid or not, or if that's the voice inside of her head from her father's side of the family. Uh, whom, by the way, uh, we're not going to speak his name because that might actually utter him to come by. But I will tell you this. You got the daughter of a Balor demon. All right. Good to know. Mm-hmm. Super good to know. Um, fortunately for the Lockwood Natural Wonders, I think a big part of what we're into is the idea of individuality and becoming your own person. And while she may have this scary dark background, I think what's really been impressive about Nedra is how she has established herself and separated herself from this dark, twisted past, and I think uh, things are working out really well, actually. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's great. Uh, the, the kid's got a soul, got a name, got everything. All right, you're, you're keeping her in check. Fantastic. You're welcome. I taught her to dance. Yeah! You taught her to dance. The bard taught her to dance! This man. Okay. Well, that's good. Now, don't tell him she doesn't dance well. It's the thought that counts. Okay. Let me just double check if I have the proper information here. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Out of character, can I just say if there was ever a movie adaptation of, of this whole adventure, this guy would be played by Nick Cage in my <laughs> perfect <laughs> casting. I'm a cage. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's the thing! <laughs> yeah. Uh, I apologize. Okay, so here here's all the information. I apologize. I was kind of like running low on that. Okay, so, this deal that we're going to have with Mr. Castor, that's going to happen in three days. You've been told of that. We only want to study what this thing does, and we want to find a way to artifice that. If you can somehow go to this place within those three days and find something that is equal in value or something we can just play with out that's not this heart we will give it to you so hold on is is the deal with caster is he the one getting the heart oh no 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 okay well, he's we, the... we he's not you are not allowed to let that man walk away with anything important okay because i was gonna say like 
No, yeah. he, he wants to buy the heart from them to give to the calls, whereas we're going to a yes. fanciful kingdom for him to look for better treasures to also present them. Just, yeah, he, he sees With full disclosure, my thought was if he's taking it, it would probably be easier to just heist it away from him. Than no, you, you see, Caster kind of like has a small dick. He, he kind of... Oh. Uh, yeah, he's got a small dick. He doesn't. He doesn't. He wants to get in good with the calls and be more, really important. He has a lot of money, but that doesn't really get you anywhere when uh, the calls kind of are like uh, little kids and they're angels and you know they're kind of innocent and mut- like that's how their system works. They put the kids in charge because they're the most innocent, and since they're angels, innocence is kind of a really big thing. Um. That's not gonna pull in the court of law when it comes to money, so he can't buy his way into their good graces. However, giving gifts, however, now that could be seen as something. So, he told the calls that he was gonna buy something from me to give as a gift to him that would be so monumentous to give to their new king that just got put into power that he'll be able to become something more than just a lawyer back at Ibrakal. Now, I'm certain, now that he has some little bit of a fairy trip to take him over to a magical kingdom with other kinds of really cool things, that'll just cement the deal. I don't want that to happen. Okay. I don't want that to happen. I don't want a man, I don't want Caster, of all people, to worm his way into the good graces of the Kals. That's my job. I will not be outdone by some pompous dick lawyer who thinks he's better than me. I'm just saying, uh, hilarious. Yes, you, questions in the uh, back. Why did you accept his money to begin with then for the prize? Because we were just going to plan to kill him, but this is a better idea. Why, oh. why, why get our hands dirty when we can have someone else do it? Oh, great. Yeah. Wait, are you asking us to kill him? Oh, no, 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 I'm asking you to get rid of him in some way. I, you don't have to kill him. You do not have to kill him. No, not at all. Not at all See, in the slightest. But you have to get rid of him. Somehow. Wouldn't a great egg on his face moment be? He comes here. He buys the heart from you. Gives you the five hundred. Wait, does he whatever. know what the heart looks like? He's seen it. Yes. Shit. Gives you gives you the crazy n- amount of platinum you're asking for it. You take that money. We take the heart off his hands. Now he has nothing to present to the calls, and he's spent all this money and given it to you because the calls are expecting that. Yeah, and they'll be mad at him, not you. You sold it. He lost it. I'm just throwing alternate plans your way in case something goes awry. We've got a very small window here. <laughs> mm. Just letting you know where I mean, this you let us know but, where but I don't want to... Here's the thing, though. I don't want to walk away from a magical item that I can't hold on to. I want something. Because That's fair. If you if you haven't seen where you are... We're kind of here to make sure that we can get some magical stuff and put it in our own hands, which is very important to this. We need, if we can reverse engineer some really good magical things, uh, it would really help the calls in making the grand design work. So if you can find us something that is just as powerful, if not more, than the heart of a collective one that can create land out of nowhere, I have a feeling finding something like that might put other, you know, never mind. You're right, you're right, you're right. Forget it. Do you think Grammy's more powerful than the collective one? That's look, that'll be our last ditch effort if we can't figure something out in this unwitnessed kingdom place. I'm I'm just saying, I think she could handle these guys. All right. So <laughs> there's there's my plot to you guys. I want you to go with Caster to find this place since he knows that you have a map and he wants to go find this thing. If you can somehow get whatever you find to me before he does, or get rid of him, whatever, just bring me whatever you find, and if it's better than what we have right now, we will give it back to you. Uh, just calculating some stuff in my head here. Hold on, where's my map? I have a map. It's around I look here. over at Ziaka. How's she taking this? I'll swallow that man's soul if it means getting back the collective one. <gasps> she gets it! She absolutely gets it. Now I would I would love to see the snake lady kill him right in front of me. But again, we don't want our hands dirty. The unwitnessed kingdom seems like it's kind of on our way to potentially going to uh, you know, up towards Ibrakal, right? Yes. So, if the trip to Ibrakal is approximately like a 6-hour journey like you said, yep. It would probably take us like, I don't know, 2 hours to get to the unwitnessed kingdom. Yeah. By boat. Or ship? Yeah. 
two. We don't know how big that place is or how long it would take to get that treasure. Okay, just wanted to calculate travel times in my head at the very least. Because okay. we have three days to do this, right? Yeah, you have three well, days to do this. It's three days take... starting tomorrow yeah, or something. Yeah, three days starting tomorrow, you're going to... Like, getting there will not be the issue. It's getting down there and dealing with whatever you find. Yeah, okay. And you also have three days to uh, take care of uh, the rum bloods going yeah, up to which is the... what I was going to actually kind of bring up here. So how... Imp like, all that's well and good. I think we can handle getting some treasured magical artifact in the unwitnessed kingdom. I think we can find a way to get Caster off the case. Oh, that's fantastic. If you could do but that. Well, I, what, but, 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 why but, though? There's why? no, not necessarily a but. I'm just curious. The Navy seems to be taking an interest in Rumblood. And they seem to have some idea of where he might be stationed. Now... I know he's important to the grand design, and the grand design seems to be pretty important to, I don't know, saving the world somehow. Is Am I correct? Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Now, you don't seem to be our biggest fans. I, I, I know you've, you've been very nice to bring us in here. It's a parlay. We have to be nice. Yeah, of course. We have to be nice. Saga, put the hammer down. Don't 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 put it over the cow, don't put it over the cow person's head, please. Please put, put it down. Thank you, thank you, sweetheart. Donkey. Thank you. It's you know it's fine. I just stopped you're correcting right. people after a while. Right. I'm sorry. We don't want to necessarily put this plan in danger, but we were asked specifically by Lieutenant Gore himself to take care of well to bring back Rumblood alive. I'm going to quickly turn that back on you real quick. He didn't ask you to take Rumblum alive. He asked you to take... There was a ship that was under Rumblood's control mm -hmm. that was stolen from the Navy. He's not saying to get Rumblood himself. He's saying to get the kids who took over the ship. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, he said that there's a uh, ship out there that's been taken over by some of Rumblood's kids, and he wants us to bring them back. Is that in any way, shape, or form going to affect the grand design? Uh... As long as it's not Rumblood himself. All right. We uh, that, that that was kind of our doing. We uh, we told him to take the ship to see if we can get uh, gore off our hands. But uh, obviously that didn't work, and now you have a job. Yeah, apparently. Mm. That's gonna look uh, very poorly on your report card, though. How so? I mean, we're all in this together, aren't we? And uh, you going against that kind of makes you this teeny bit of a little bit of an enemy to us. But here's the thing. Our goal here is to make sure that the the Navy doesn't suspect us of any ill deeds. Mm. And if we're going to be acting as a courier, which apparently we have been, flying uh, pirate you know pirate colors won't exactly reflect well on us being able to travel freely between you pirate lords. This is fair. Now, if this isn't going to affect the grand design in any way, seems like this is an easy way to give them a bloody nose without actually hurting you at all. Make us look real good to the to the Navy so that we can be about our business. Persuasion with advantage. Yay, advantage. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Uh, let's see, persuasion 24. I like how this man thinks he's a good egg, this boy. Ah, uh, that's fair. It kind of sucks that we, mm, we kind of have to, like, you know, just put down this little dog of ours. Puts down another dog. But <laughs> you make a good point. It would kind of suck if uh, Gore did kind of... Gore has taken an interest to you guys, and uh, it would kind of suck on our whole operation in the longer run if we don't at least play a little bit to him. And uh, taking a few kids and putting them in an orphanage, I really don't see that as a, as a harm to the whole entire operation. So that probably would be better. So if you want to take his job, that's fine. But I swear to God, you better not, you better make fucking goddamn sure you do not say anything about this entire meeting or this whole operation. Because every pirate in this entire sector, the entire southern hemisphere of Los Aranis, will make sure your days on this earth are miserable and you go straight to hell. Are we clear? Loud and clear. 
Ah, oh, fan- I'm gonna roll intimidation. You, what's your? You roll insight. All of you roll insight. Isn't that a will save intimidation? Uh, V insight, insight as well. Okay. Is it? Yeah, insight's wisdom. Oh, okay. Uh, Nineteen. <clears throat> Twenty-one. Modified twenty. Ezra's dealt with tough guys. It's no idle threat, though. You can still feel yeah. it. The, the, I know he's serious, but I'm not like shaking. Yeah, you're by not. It. You're not shaking. Like none of you guys are shaking at this point, which is good because he rolled pretty low, but he's got some really high stats on that. So you just look at him. Hi, I'm Eloy. I'm I'm making a personal policy to to keep my mouth flappings to to matters of ice creams and such, and leave the matters of import to these guys. It's just safer for everyone that way. It really is. I concur. All right, that's great. So, you'll take the job then? I don't see we have much of a choice. Oh, you, you, you absolutely have a choice. We're, again, this is parlay. We're not going to kill you. You are welcome to talk back terms, and you did. You did. Our, our choices seem to be either going on this adventure and finding you a better treasure than the collected one's heart, I mean, or, I'm not. I'm not going to be greedy. I, I mean, look at this place. I'm kind of greedy, but I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be too mean. You find me something that has the best value, and I'll let you keep everything else. You are doing most of the work, roughly equal or greater too. And uh, you know, our other choice is let a whole island of people sink into the ocean and die, and possibly have a crazy lava monster angry looking for its heart in I mean, this I'm neck not, of the woods. I mean, that's why we're going to give the heart back to uh, the Kals. If that was, if this all went as it normally would have, they can deal with it. Exactly. Yeah, but then Timothy would be under the ocean, and he doesn't, he doesn't breathe think, water. Think of Timothy. Yeah, you're right. Who, who's Timothy again? I don't care. Who's Timothy? Ah, whatever. Let me tell you about <laughs> Timothy. We can write a song about him later. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Ziaki, you want to help me write a song about Timothy? You just feel a giant paw grab you by the back of the neck. Keep it to business. <laughs> Let's go. Well, if that's everything, then we'll be on our way. Ah, splendid. Uh, if you ever want to come back and just visit us and have fun, go ahead, spend all your money. It's all great. Uh, uh, you know, just just, just uh, make sure you get it done in three days or else you, uh, you can say bye-bye to the Collective One's heart. And uh, we'll keep an even bigger eye on you, you know, because uh, you're, you're working with Gore. But, but again, you do this for us. We'll scratch your back. And... Uh, Oh yeah, that's right. Convictora was saying that you were uh, talking to Gore about something about uh, someone who did something to your village or something all the way in the back there. And uh, you, you're you're looking for your father and uh, Zealous. We, we we're all aware. We're we're all aware. Don't worry about it. It's it's, it's fine. Uh, we have answers for you. Uh, we actually know who you're looking for. At least I think I have an idea of who you're looking for. And uh, this might come to shock you, but uh, I think your dad's in North Zealous, son. Well, in order to get to your dad, then we're going to need citizenship somehow. Yeah, so makes uh, makes Gora's whole thing a lot more attractive. Thanks for the info. Ah, no problem. We're all friends here. We're working towards a common goal. Hey, you're he right. He hands the package back to you. Ezra's jovial nature has somewhat disappeared. He's more serious, not like angry, but just like... Listen, they, they, remember, I, I know I seem like a callous jerk. And I, I, I seem like a pompous idiot. I know. I get it. I mean, look at my clothes. Look at my friends. This whole operation that if, uh, if one thing gets slipped through the cracks, this entire thing could crumble under and I can get very angry and people will die. Anyway, we're all friends here. Mead has trusted you guys. You're a part of this now. And I promise you, this may, I, I, I promise you this. I miss being able to do stuff like this. I really can't anymore. I, I wish I could. But the sooner we get this information all the way to Eel's Gape, and the sooner, the sooner we can get all this behind us, it'll be better for everyone. Not, not even just us. Not even just being able to use technology. Not even just being able to be friends with the Kals or with anyone on the open seas. It'll be good for everyone. I swear. It's, uh, this is this is we have everyone else's interest purely in mind. I don't suppose I can get that information out of you up front, huh? Well, that just means you're going to do the job. I think we've already agreed to do the job. Hmm. Well, that's true. Uh, hmm. 
Now, uh, the problem is, is that I'd be throwing a friend under the, under the uh, ship for this. Well, that would be tragic. It would be tragic, especially since she's a pirate lord. She. Pirate lord. Yep. What would she have had any interest in my village? All I can give you, all I can give you is her name, not her motives. Again, tiefling, hot-blooded. So, uh, Zaslamel's who you're looking for. The one who gave you Nedra. Or at least gave to me, and then gave to you in the third day. It's hoping that I'm fucking drunk. <laughs> Loose lips sink ships and all that. Oh, I, I know, I, I know, but uh, we're all friends here, right? Of course. We're friends! Naturally. Oh, thank God. Good, 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 good. Fantastic. And, a, and as your friend, I just want to throw out there, you're a man of clearly great means, I say, pointing at the room. <laughs> but your love of the open seas makes me feel more and more like this room might be some sort of gilded cage. You ought to find someone who can like run the day-to-day -day stuff so you can get out once in a while. Really does a man good. Points the Confectora. <laughs> and there you go. You see? You haven't left for 10 years, and you got this guy right here at your beck and call. Well, I mean, I got you guys now. If you can get this out of the way, and we can get whatever information we get out of this collective one's heart, we get all, we run all the data, do all the safety stuff, whatever. We, we can add this into the parcel, and we can send it off to you, and then when we finally get the call to Eels Gape, everything will be swell. Is this Zasa Lamel important to the grand design? She's one of the founders, yeah. Terrific. Maybe we could talk something out and find a way to deal with this later. Please. What are we Do rolling? Uh, I am rolling a personal self-control <laughs> roll here. That will be a wisdom save. Yeah. I'm gonna say. No, well, well, hold on. Like, what exact? Why though? Like, give me. A, I mean, give me, should I, I be persuading him to not say something? Would that make this? You know, that's more that, fair. Does that let's, make let's, more yeah, yeah, try to beat say, my how, role how, here. how do we get a role into this? So yeah. So persuasion versus insight. Um, <laughs> oh boy. Fourteen. Wake just shuts the fuck up. <gasps> Turns and walks out the door. As you can see, it's a. Little personal for that guy. Yeah, I, I kind of figured, especially with uh, your father too. We figured we at least ickle you with a little bit of information, so at least we prove that we're trying to be cordial about this. Thank you, I appreciate it. And also, we know about you and your little shark problem, and we know about you and your little kingdom problem, your highness. Yeah, we know all about that. And uh, wait, what? This is the first time hearing of this. Yeah, actually, I haven't told anybody. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we all just kind of look over at Scrug, I'm guessing. Yeah, like, well, Pliskin and Scrung were just sitting there just like, oh, well, I guess the cat's out of the bag now, now that we're all fucking friends. Ooh, what's my deep, dark secret? <laughs> I don't even know that one. You're an idiot. That's <laughs> not a secret. I know, that's what makes it fun. <laughs> you know what, well, this guy's all right. Yeah, he seems like it. This, this guy, have another thing of whiskey, buddy. <laughs> Drink it. And roll a con save. Hey, hey, 20. Where are you getting all this constitution from? You, <laughs> you, are, you are a fish right now, son. <laughs> I mind controlled myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never suspect it. <laughs> Wake has to do this meditation thing all the time. I just use magic on my brain. So, uh, well, well, we'll let you have on. Uh, we'll let you know a little bit about this then. Since you are down here and you are kind of like helping us out in this whole matter, uh, if there is stuff down here that does fancy your eye, I mean, we're not we're we're, we're pirates. We kind of like want to buy stuff and sell stuff and do stuff and everything. But uh, so, if there's anything down here you think that catches your eye, just for the love of God, make sure you don't show it to the open or don't show it to the navy. But we will offer you. Whatever we can at a moderate price. Well, I'll make sure we keep our eyes open and uh, let you know if anything catches our eye. Fantastic. Oh, and uh, even though your friend didn't seem uh, all that intrigued about the fact that we told him that uh, one of our buddies is kind of the key focal point about his uh, deep, dark secret or whatever the problem he has is, uh, you best make sure that he actually doesn't try to go after her. Like, in a mean or angry capacity because uh not only is that bad for everyone involved but uh that's a quick way for him to die 
he will make his own decisions, but I will do everything within my power to uh, make sure he makes the well, right one. As a friend, I hope you do. Thank you. Well, if something should happen along those nature, along that nature, he will be acting alone. That's very smart because if he does do something like that, he'll have every pirate in this entire place looking for him. Understood. We are all in this together. We're all closely connected in some intricate little way, and we're trying to make things better for everyone. And if there's someone who impedes that way, we all can't be mead, we all can't be nice, and we won't be nice. Message received. Great. You want more drinks? You want a dog? I have, like, plenty of them. Oh, I'll take a dog. Ah, here you go. Have a wiener dog. I, can... <laughs> I love wiener dogs. They're like these teeny tiny, and they're so long. Yeah, they're adorable, but a boat? The uh, Yeldon? You think that's a good place for... Yes, I do. All right, well. And we'll Eloy's got a dog. We'll pause here. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the table. Woo. So we had our big meeting. Uh, Wake knows who he needs to find. Again, we just know that she's involved. May just not, said may find. Not have, I said fine. May not have been a... I said, we know she's involved. I, I, no, I said, I said, we know she's involved. That's the extent. We don't know if it was like, maybe she tried to stop it. <laughs> we just don't know it. Yes, could, the evil, hot-blooded, tiefling you, pirate crew. Yeah, maybe be like, these would make great fighters someday. And then someone in her crew was like, we should take them down. And that's why they killed almost everybody and enslaved the rest. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So you guys are still in, like, the... I'm going to call it the R&D department at this point. You guys are still here. Uh, Baslametz hasn't escorted you out all the way. Like, he just wanted to make sure if yeah, you guys wait, wanted Yeah, Wake's just anything. been waiting outside the door, just, like... Fuming. Just... The Pliskin just walks out. Huh. You know, he's actually exactly how most people describe him. Not at all what I figured, but then again, I've never really uh, had him described to me, so... Yeah, he's quite, a, quite the guy. He's a jovial guy, just, you know, he seemed a little uh, stressed out. I think he kind of pulled a little heartstrings with that Gilded Cage speech you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, I mean, it seems like he's got a lot of anxiety, but he also seems like a fun guy. I feel like, you know, the, the two sides of this life isn't really adding up for him, and... So I really wanted to push the whole, you know what, even if, this, if somehow this grand design thing doesn't work, I really hope he does, you know, try to get out once in a while. You know, well, should the world not crash and burn and everybody die in a Well, he didn't seem like the world was going to crash and burn. I don't know what this whole thing about is. All we know is, is that the pirates, like, are into technology, and the Navy hates the pirates for that matter of fact. So the fact that all these boys here are trying to reverse engineer magic stuff to make a different kind of energy source to use said magic. That's at least something we could piece together. Yeah. Seems seems like an okay direction to go in. That, and also I like the fact that someone at least knows what my plight is, and I can at least, I don't know, find some way to fix it. Yeah, maybe 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 there are some answers here. Speaking of, uh, looks over at Skrung. Your Highness? I mean, look, I, I've joked about I, I look over because I was out of the room when that was explained. Yeah, did you know about this? He's he's apparently some sort of royalty. I haven't gotten the entire skinny, but like, Skrung, are you a secret ASMR? Friggin', if I was, I wouldn't be calling you a fuckhead. All right, he's, he's not one of them. Checks out. But yeah, freaking lot. He said <laughs> something about this. He called him your highness right to his face, and he didn't have anything to say about it. So I, that makes me think that there must be some truth to it. Well, that's news to me. I say, looking at Skrung. It's crazy. I've been calling you your highness this whole time. You could have said something. Did it ever cross your mind that maybe it would be a good idea if it was never spoken about? I've, I've been saying it as a joke out loud in public. I, I, yeah, and the fact that it still remained as a joke and the reason I never responded to it, that might have guarded attention if I gave you the time of day about it. You could have also just said something to me right. and I'd stop making the joke. Is it going to be weird if you if we stop making the joke now? That See, that's the tough part. As a comedian and as... Now, friend might be a little bit of a stretch. As someone who doesn't want you to be immediately hunted down and or killed or whatever your backstory might have. That's so sweet of you, Ezra. Thank you. I tried to flower it up as best I could. <laughs> 
It's just, now I don't, now you put me in an awkward position. You're captain. Who outranks who? Is it a, is, <laughs> is, uh, there's so many layers to this. We could have talked this out. Oh. Are you done? I'm still mad, but yeah, I'm done. All right, good. And seems like you got a bit of a, some info. We can, we can work with that. We can find something. We can, we can do this. It's fine. Just, ah, uh, man. A lot, lot, of, lot, of, lot of stuff running around up here. Well, I mean, since it's no longer a secret, I guess I may as well say something. We don't have to here. I know there's a bunch of not, bunch of prying eyes and ears. We can do this back at they're the Elden or something. They'll fucking work for Convictora and Lot. Who cares at this point? For all I know, we could be bugged with a scrying orb right now. There's one hanging off Eloy as we speak. What? <laughs> Made you look. I mean, he does God, have that yeah. little doll. Actually, that's a good point. And this dog. <laughs> that dog might be a scrying orb. <laughs> we're gonna have, you, you're going to have I, 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 Yeah, I noticed you have... We're going to have to break both open to see. I, 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 I noticed that you have the dog. I was like... Yeah. Oh, yeah, he gave me a dog from his bowl. The it dog, was the best dog, slide the dog of hand swipe. Yeah! <laughs> Throws up a scrying orb. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I just, I just like tick. I, I just tip it off the edge You're of the free. area that we're on into the water. <laughs> Sploosh. The dog just like falls over. Oh. oh no! I can't. All right, come on. Yeah. Throws up on you anyway. Is there a scrying orb in this one? No. It's just puke. Okay, that's fine. I mean, he'd never been so happy for it to be just puke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think your dog is healthy, Eloy. Speaking of healthy... It starts lapping your chest where the throw-up is. Speaking of healthy... Oh, my, his appetite's back. It's fine. <laughs> and I get more serious with Wake. Look, I know... I know you want to go after her, but that'll be dangerous for not only you, but everyone. If you're going to do something, at least have the courtesy to tell one of us. I don't know what you're talking about, I say, and I start walking. I hope not. All right, well, Skrung's going to tell you guys about this shit then. Yes. Uh, Skrung describes to you his plight that he is the forgotten prince of his entire kingdom and that his first name is Denzel. All right. Information I have. <laughs> Just logging that away. He he eyes you this whole time. Your Do, secret? Roll, roll me an insight for laughing out loud. Eleven. That one, he never sees it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, okay. Composure? <laughs> I'm uh, a con man. I'm used to keeping a straight face. Yeah. Like, straight face in situations. He, uh... So he explains to you his plight that like he uh one of the one of the what I, what I call him I'm sorry the uh one of the brownies stole his signet ring that lets him warp in between his realm back to his kingdom and that's why he his family exiled him away uh not denouncing him as the royal family until he gets his signet ring back to prove that he's an actual prince his dad's a little addled in the brain and there's like 30 princes and and princesses in the goblin kingdom that again there are a bunch of dudes who are like super into magic and shit so the fae is fucked with his highness's head for so long that without that ring there's no way he can actually tell if he's a prince or not okay so that's a magic thing we couldn't like, get a jeweler to make up another ring that looked just alike and have it work, I'm assuming. Nah. The realm wouldn't even let me inside if that were the case. Okay, I, I figured if it were that easy, you'd already have done it. Pretty much. So, that's why I'm on the look for this one brownie. Well, thanks for sharing. Um, you know, I kind of... Your, your hand was sort of forced, but I appreciate it all the same. And... All joking aside, I'll be sure to keep an eye out and look for things. Your Highness. Don't call me that. Got it. I'm the Forgotten Prince, remember? No one even remembers even if I am royalty. Well, hey, we all remember you. And we'll have your back. 
I say, looking at the crew. He's trying, gone. He trying left. To, trying to gauge a react. Well, okay. Looking at Eloy, <laughs> Ziaka, Pliskin. Yeah, I'm looking for my goddamn way out of here. I, I, I feel double bad about spooking off that brownie now. I'm going to have to get better at sneaking, aren't I? It is a very useful skill, I've learned. <laughs> or maybe, you know, just cut your losses and realize sneaking missions, maybe not for you. I don't know. Everyone, I got that. Like, and Ziaka like just holds his hand out and just goes, "Yes, everyone has their place." Gold falls out of her <laughs> sleeve. Where did you get that? Her tail picks it up and hides it back in. Ziaka, if you stole that from that room, we might have a lot of people no, on of our course tail. Not. What do you take me for? Insight. <laughs> Twelve. You can't tell. All it's, right. a, it's a snake face. <sighs> just no. That if you stole that from in there, there could be big problems. And it might put the whole, this whole operation, getting the heart back, might be in risk if you've made these people mad. Pliskin just shrugs. You would have think Lot would have let that go away. The guy whose entire chamber is made of gold and who's drunk on dragon whiskey. Fair enough. Guys, you know what my big takeaway from that conversation was? Edward Castor has a small penis. <laughs> That I, is a very important fact, and I feel like if we spread that around, that could probably do our job for us. I'm just saying, it's since I left Old Lady Big Rock Mountain, it has been weird to me that I don't know how big anybody's penis is. We don't wear pants back home. Everybody knows how big everybody else's penis is. Ah! The pecking order is obvious all the time. The pecker order. <laughs> Thank you, Ezra. <laughs> if you didn't say it, I would. <laughs> Well, that's it's just weird to me that y'all keep it a secret. That's all. It's Roll for J. Perry. <laughs> Nat 20. <laughs> it's just part of society out here, Eloy. It's one of those things that only when you really trust and perhaps love someone do you really get to figure out where they stand in this pecker order. <laughs> However, that's neither here nor there. I'm... I mean, look, I've never asked, because I, I found out real early after leaving the mountain that that's not something you ask. <laughs> I just figured I'd figure it out by and by. It's, again, one of those things, it's, if someone wants you to know, you'll probably know. <laughs> well, obviously, Mr. Castor don't want nobody to know. <laughs> yes. That's why he's given all kinds of fancy gifts and such. Seems like a roundabout way to do it. And you know what? Uh, real quick, in case this wasn't clear to you, don't mention to Mr. Castor that we know. All right, I'll add that to my list. Okay, thank you. All right, let's see if we can find Wake. He seems to have uh, slipped off somewhere. Oh, what, we're done? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so he, he's gone off on his own. I, I guess we kind of I'm, go I'm, fi I'm trying to find our way out. Yeah. <laughs> like, I am done with this place. I am a thousand percent done with this place. Well, well, you're pretty much going to the carriage then. They pretty much are... Helping you guys, like, Bazimet is escorting you guys back outside to make sure that you at least know the way in, know the way out next time, and to make sure that you guys know that, hey, um, don't let anyone else see you going in here when you enter the lot. So he's pretty much giving you, like, the secret Stealth. entrance down into the R&D department. I get ya. And with that, you guys are free to go back to the ship now. Uh, did you not want to buy anything off these guys? Or was there not anything um, you think you wanted to prepare for? Real quick, just uh, out of character, like, game question. So I'm, like, all good with crossbows and bows and stuff, because those are, like, the, the the range and stuff like that. Would guns fall into that same category? Would I, like, also be a good sharpshooter with those, or is that, like, a different thing entirely? Uh, I've treated... The same stats. I've treated guns as crossbows. Okay. So... If you have proficiency in ranged abilities and stuff like that, I'll allow it. But the only th stipulation is is that you have to spend. If you don't, like, say you want to take a proficiency in like being like more proficient in in that stuff, it's going to take you a round to reload. Okay. It's going to take you an action to reload. Yeah, like your move or your attack. Your move yeah. or your attack. Yeah, something's got to give to reload it. Gotcha. All right. Uh, then in that case, well, we've got that one magic gun, so I guess I don't have to worry too much about. Finding a gun to fiddle that with. That gun's a grenade launcher. So, I can, so <clears throat> really something big to figure out. Actually, yeah, I got... So, so Mr. Lott said, don't let nobody see you using this because this is tech. 
Yes. And and that'll get you into trouble. And I, I don't want to get into trouble. And most of the stuff that I'd want is, is for showmanship. Whole idea is to let people see it. So that'd be a real bad idea. But I've seen one gadget that, that I've seen y'all using out in the open, and it seems to be fine. Can y'all sell me a cotton candy machine? I mean, sure. Yeah. Basimus just looks at you and goes, well, uh, what do you want it to do? Make cotton candy. Anything else? Mm. Make more cotton candy. <laughs> He's a simple man with simple needs, Mr. <laughs> Just Bassinet. imagine. Make cotton candy. Anything else? Flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it can teleport. Dude, come on. Works. That's a sick idea, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's a sick idea. A fucking cotton candy machine with exhaust ports for flamethrowers? Actually. It's the most metal fucking cotton candy machine ever. Oh. He was getting a, getting a thinker. What if? What if? Okay. What if if I poured a healing potion into the sugar, it could spin me up a healing cotton candy? Ah, oh, now that's something we could probably do. Uh, because we're gonna run out of that healing rock candy sooner or later if we haven't already. I've, I've already spent all mine. I've, I don't have any of mine left. You, pre I, I love the way you think because now what you are claiming to me is that you are looking for someone to be what essentially is an apothecary for healing potions <laughs> in the form of a cotton candy, candy machine. <laughs> Well, we can do that. We're just gonna. It's gonna take a little bit, and we could probably. We're gonna have to hide it somehow to get on your ship, but we could probably do that in. Oh, I don't know, a couple of days. All right. So yeah, we're about to go on this on this thing anyway. So we'll just come pick it up when we get back. Might take a little bit longer than that. I'd say probably close to five days, six days. <clears throat> Maybe sooner. He says, reaching out his hand. Yeah. No, oh. no, 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 Eloy. He's trying to bargain. He's trying to see see if you can pass him anything that would make him make it worth his while. Okay. Well, how much? How much? Sorry, sorry. I'm going to use this as a teaching moment. Don't worry. We'll 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 get this. Set it's all right. Uh, Basmus just like, no, it's fine. How much will a cotton candy machine like that cost? Carry the two, minus the one, get the healing pots inside of it, have the hamsters inside run on normal tech, conveyor belts, maybe make the hamsters artificial. Real hamsters would have been real trouble if, if Grammy got a hold of them. So <laughs> good, Dinner's ready. Good news on, good news <laughs> on the artificial hamsters. Uh, depending on how fancy you want to make this, the minimum it's going to cost you is seven grand. He's pretty much made, he's a, he's giving you a device at minimum. Mm. At minimum, he's giving you a device that every twenty four hours can make you pretty much a healing pot in candy form, three times. This sounds really helpful for the entire crew. So as captain, I'm willing to front three thousand gold towards this goal. All right, I'll kick in the other four. All right. And that's to have it done in five days. You say five days. What if? Check what bartering. Remember, got. these uh, these folks are very much into R and D. If you can give them something that is worth their while to play around with things, they will absolutely do so. I'm not giving them my fire ring. What about? Could could you guys get any use out of a out of a magic scroll? What kind of scroll? I mean, I can give you a, I can give you a spooky song. I can give you a I can give you a, a silence. I can give you uh, can give you a, a hypnotic pattern. If you saw my show, how I bewitched all the audience to to see visions in their head of of ice creams, and it made them. I can give you one of those. Roll persuasion. I just like the idea that we're talking about this, and just Wake uh, is just sulking in the cart. Yeah. Just <laughs> like, I'm ready to go. I don't want to be here anymore. Modified twenty. Throw in a scroll of hypnotic pattern. All right, it's it's gonna take me a day to get that for you, but I can I can get it for you tomorrow. All right, you get us the goods. We can make it work. Probably bump it down to four days. To sweeten the deal, I have with me. I produce from my packet this bag of glass beans. Now check this out. I say without never using these once and having no idea what it's gonna do. 
I throw it on the ground. What happens? <laughs> okay, these glass beams. What you, happens? You gave this to me without oh, giving me any sort no! of description, and I've been waiting for a moment to show their power. Now, what happens? Where did you get these again? We got these where we... With, I think it was when we got... When he got all the natural ones and the guy fell down. Oh, boy. So it's been a while. They've been sitting in my pack. Okay. I have no idea what they do. And this is when Ezra <laughs> and decides... And now we know! This is when Ezra decides, you know what? A cotton candy machine that could make us healing, healing salves when we need it. That sounds real useful. And I haven't used this yet. Okay, Zito. He throws one down. What happens? Just one. Not the bag. Just a single bean. It's even worse somehow. <laughs> I throw it. I'm assuming with there being a carriage, there would be plenty of open space. So I throw it well, somewhere a, away from us. We're in a tunnel. That's five. five. <laughs> the whole place goes up in smoke. You've killed everybody. Five on a D20. <laughs> it's like a one on a D4. So really, it's not that good. <laughs> Hmm. All right, well, uh, I need to roll severity. <laughs> wow. Um, Does anybody need to make some saves? Um, maybe. <laughs> what, what? You gave me this bag! I know I gave you this bag! With little pop and circumstance, so I figured it could You also be got this bag from a fucking vampire cult. <laughs> yes. <laughs> maybe we're all vampires now. Maybe we should let Red look at it once. I don't know. Hits the ground, nothing happens. Tink, tink, tink. At first. The earth begins to shake underneath you as the seed begins to turn into what looks like a finely grayed out, not, not, I'm sorry, a finely uh, crushed bit of sand as it disperses and kind of like shrivels into the ground. This is cobblestone, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm just, sit I'm just sitting in the like cart as it starts shaking. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, so based on what I just rolled, hallelujah that I rolled that high. Uh, from the earth sprouts a glass beanstalk. It goes up to the tunnel, curls around, and starts to grow out. I'm looking out of the carriage window. What the fuck? <laughs> as what looks like where the beans would grow from the top start to bubble into red like balloons I'm gonna get out of the cart and move that way <laughs> like away from it nothing's happening yet I keep staring <laughs> from it stares back at you with a single eye I don't know what happened but I assume this is Ezra <laughs> One of the red orbs cracks open an eye and looks down at you. Now see, take a look at this magic. I will give you three beans if you can get that down to two days. Roll an acrobatics check, <laughs> both of you. Uh, 19. 16. Laser beam, you dodged out of the way. Woo! It's a little feisty. Probably should have warned you. The one bean closes its eye, but still remains. The second one, roll athletic, roll acrobatics. Well, I'm glad I'm over here. That's good. Uh, actually, that's twelve. Yeah, still less good. Uh, fifteen. Singes your foot. Woo! There's a hole. Ah! I'm gonna roll damage for that. Yeah. How much does this hurt? My feet. My precious, precious feet. One point of damage. Okay. Now for the now for the third eye. Roll it. Ah. Yeah, Twenty. Just cartwheel away. Ooh. Uh, not a nat twenty, but a twenty-five modified. Dodging out of the way, more more little mm. bursts of like what look like little beams. Fourth eye. Fuck! How many eyes does this thing have? Five. Okay. 
And it shoots multi ways, too. That's good. Um, 13. Eight? You're both taking hits. Four points of damage to you. All right. Three points of damage to you. All right. And last eye. Eight. Uh, 23. Seven points of damage to Ezra. Oh, wow. That one. Wait, he got a 23. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize. And actually, I, to, I did my to, math to wrong. Eloy. 22. I apologize. Oh. I was going to say, if this thing has a DC of higher than I, 20, I, I'm, fuck I'm me. sorry. The two no worries. Char- <laughs> the two characters with both E's in front of their names. Gotcha. I'm like, wait a minute. I fucked that up. Is that much? Oh, I, I'm sorry. Seven points of damage to you. Yep. The eyes close and remain stationary. They were firing at everyone else, too. <laughs> Skrung and Pliskin were dodging out of the way, but took some hits, too, and so did the poor dude. So did the poor little kitty. The fucking munchkin kitty's trying to dodge out of the way. <laughs> He's just I, on the floor, duck and cover, like, what? I apologize. Uh, that one got a little bit more volatile than I expected. However, I felt like a, a showcasing uh, really would help sell the deal. Three beans <laughs> for you to study and learn from as you wish. Look at this amazing thing. Persuasion with disadvantage. What? You nearly killed him. You, you nearly fucking killed yeah, this poor dude. Look how incredible it is. Let's, well, okay. Great, 10. <laughs> that's okay, I rolled an eight. Yeah. Please, put it away. Just as long as you don't do that again, I'll make it three days. You, you got yourself a deal. Hand him three beans gingerly. <laughs> don't drop them. Be careful where you put those. Question, is this beanstalk now blocking the uh, tunnel? Yep. Mm. Strength check. Oh, you're walking underneath it? I'm punching it. Oh, okay, we'll roll acrobatics. All right, first acrobatics. Five acro- times. <laughs> uh, 22. As everyone else jumps to the side. Oh, God, no! Uh, 21. Make, make a little note here. 23. Laser beans. <laughs> Terror laser beans? 27. What was the first one again? I apologize. They were all above 20. Above 20? All right. Yeah, you're just like, whoa, whoa, oh, God, whoa. <laughs> I imagine you like acrobatics. In is, a- acrobatics is my jam. Yeah, no, that's fine. And you were just like walking through, just like, ah, oh, darn mosquitoes, bless their little stingers. Huh, jump, 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 <laughs> jump. All right, and a strength check to shatter it. Of Da-da. strength is plus three, nineteen. Nineteen. Let me just say, I'm real glad I didn't go with previous idea. Like this is like weeks ago when we were in some fight, and I was like, I just dump them on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> well. These beans have a couple of values to them. That's why I had to roll the one oh, yeah. one hundred. I saw. Also, that does remind me. You just gave me bag of bag of glass beans. I didn't know how many were in there. I hope three wasn't like the rest. No, you you had like a bag of ten beans. Okay. All right, so you have six now. Yeah. Does uh, a nineteen shatter this thing? A nineteen does shatter it and makes it fall over. <laughs> Can we go now? The uh, the the like Basimets kind of just like, he, like look, takes a look at the eye. Where did you get those beans? This is a beholder eye. It's that beautiful. My f- that, my friend, is a story for another day. I say, packing the, the be- beans away. Uh, performance to act like I am not terrified of what just happened. <laughs> 22. You play it off cool. <laughs> cool guys don't look at explosions. <laughs> and in my mind, holy shit. <laughs> what are these fucking things? All right, so you get inside the cart after taking care of all the glass shards. Yeah, I just go. <laughs> Sorry, we're going. Had to meet a man about a candy machine. <laughs> <laughs> so you pretty much, you guys are up and now back in the carnival. So what's our what's our next course of action? Get the ship ready and just start heading out in the morning? Yeah, I'm going to have to go meet with that guy and tell him that's when we're going. <sighs> Sounds like an unpleasant meeting. You want any of us any of us to come with? 
If you want, like, if you want, I'm, I'm just gonna start like making a. I, I assume I know where Caster's office is at this point. Uh, Caster is. Hmm. That's a good I mean, call. I guess he doesn't have an office here because he works in Ibrakal. Yeah. So he's. But he's he's uh he he said that he would make his presence known to you at the right time. So you're going to assume that since. Lot now knows about this. He's going to like tell him, like, "Hey, maybe you should go, you know, find these guys out and do that little thing." I'm still gonna try and do my homework. What? What do you mean by homework? Uh, well, I'm assuming we're nearing the evening, <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's, that it's, this I'm, guy would probably be in the nicest hotel. Yeah, you're. If you're gonna look for the nicest hotel, let me find that because that actually will bring us to an NPC. Mm. Oh, my fucking notes are all over the goddamn place. Now all that right. I'm, now uh, that I'm away from prying eyes of the tabaxi it, it, down there, I'm just like with Ela. Did you fucking see what this thing did? Look at. Yeah, I, I saw that. I saw that in a few places. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Here's a healing potion. Thanks. Man. Good God. All right, so uh, the nearest, nicest inn that you're going to look for is a place called the Catnap. Cute. The Catnap. All right. I'll make my way that way. You're going to head that way? Is, are you going alone, or are you taking anyone else with you? It's up to them. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick with them. Don't yeah. split the party if, if there's not a good reason. Yeah, I'm, mm. I'm basically like, I have nothing else going on, sure. Yep. <laughs> All right, so... You head inside. Uh, you find the, you're, you pretty much ask around. They tell you, "Oh, here's the nearest inn." There's a lot of uh, ASMR. There's a lot of a uh, lot of tabaxi around. You walk inside. Surprisingly enough, you think that with the name of this place, there would just be a lot of tabaxi. Not really. It's uh, there is a lot of like tabaxi civilization, like like designs and decorations all over the place. However, this is what what you're greeted with is. Ooh. So, sorry to interrupt you. I realized I took damage. I had to roll a constitution, a, uh, a concentration saving throw. My self-suggestion failed. I'm drunk. <laughs> roll calm with disadvantage. <laughs> or yeah, at least my... Let's see. You're, you convincing yourself yep. your silver has suddenly worn off. Yeah. Uh, three. Big time. Oh, so sorry, Eloy. Here you go. <laughs> you are drunk. Yeah, I saw what them beans did. It's fun stuff, right, Eli? <laughs> yeah. What did those beans do? It was it was real bad, and uh, I, they might have had a second effect on you. Are you? His face okay? is completely flush red. I, I have a theory. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna love this. I mind. <laughs> I played the flute on my own mind. Uh huh. I have to think real hard to make that keep happening. It made me ouch. Oh, you. Okay, I think I got. Hey, I see Eloy, where this is going. Scrung says, looking at you. Yes, yeah, Scrung. What would you like to have as a treat more than anything right now? Spumoni's triple layer ice cream. There's some right there, right now. Go get it. Roll in sight with disadvantage. Twelve. Roll persuasion for Scrung. Nat 20. Guys, I'll be right back. You want me to bring some? I'll bring some. Uh, you? No thanks, Okay, boy. so now I need you to roll me an athletics check to <laughs> race into the nearest cart that he just pointed at. Five. <laughs> right here. Yeah. Guys, I'll be right. You run straight into a wall. Ow! You hit the. You hit the floor, Family Guy fall style. Four. Six points of damage. Roll con save to get up. I look up at Wake. Hey, I think we're gonna be a little bit. You go on ahead. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> you get up. Oh, what? Who said that? What? You're fine. We'll we'll catch up with you in a sec. And I just. <laughs> basically go down and be like, all right, come on, let's get you some water. You clearly need something. Pliskin will go with you then. <laughs> all right. So all right, so I walk into this 
you fancy in, hotel. You walk into this fancy hotel. There's a there's a you, you obviously can tell there's a bunch of people here who are like obviously not Tabaxi, but there are no Tabaxi people who are running this place. It's actually run by what looks like a female human, uh, brown eyes, brown hair, pair of round glasses. Uh, her hair reaches all the way down to uh, to the back of uh, to her spine, to the end of her spine. Uh, wearing a basic brown leather tunic and a long brown skirt to match with black boots. She's kind of like putting stuff up on the shelf, but then notices that someone came in. She's like, oh, what? And she knocks something over, but then grabs it and puts it back up again. Like, oh, um, hello, welcome to the catnip. Uh, the cat, I'm oh, sorry, catnap in, damn it. Uh, it's quite all right, ma'am. Uh, I have a message for, uh, I, I've been running around all day uh, just trying to get this message to this man. Uh, uh, Mr. Edward Castor, I believe he's staying here. I mean, oh, Mr. Castor? Oh, yes, please, one, one moment. She, like, takes out a book, but then it slips out of her hand. No! Shit. Can Here. I try to catch it for her? Go for it. Roll acrobatics. Eh, 15. Here you are. Oh, thank you so much. She, like, puts it down. You, you could just tell this woman is, like, frazzled and scatterbrained. She looks like she's been working, like, nonstop all day today. You look like, look like it's been a long day. Oh, it's just how it normally goes. The boss really wants to make sure everything's in tip-top shape, and that's what I'm doing. She knocks her hand into a vase. Nip! No. 25. She, she gets it. Oh, she like, catches it? Okay. Yeah. She, like, she, like, knocked it with her fingers. She's like, no. I'm used to it. It's fine. Flips through a book. I also uh, like to make sure that anything I do is fixed up and all nice and clean. So if there are mistakes, I make sure I take care of them. You watch as like, a, like her hair band falls on the side. No. Okay, um, Mr. Castor. Oh yes, here he is. Um, I mean, I couldn't deliver the message for you, or I could uh, summon him here if it's very dire. Uh, I'm not sure if he'd appreciate being summoned, would he? I, I don't know. I, I, if it's that important, I, I assume he wants to get that information out. He does, but uh, it, it's something I have to curry. Sorry, it's... Oh, I understand. Well, then I, I suppose the best option would be to get him down here. I will be right back. All right, thank she you. turns around, and you watch as, like, a book falls on her head. Ah, mm. She runs. Poor, I look at Pliskin. Her life seems like hell. Yeah, she has a nice attitude about it, though. You, you, uh, you finally hear. Uh, you, you. He, she comes back out. I delivered the message. He'll be down quite shortly. All right. Thank you so much. Your name? Oh, uh, my name. My name is Amelia Dawson, made by one of our mods. Hey, Sheldon Flash. Thank you kindly. Oh, thank you, Mr. Sheldon. Um, please have a seat over there. He'll be down momentarily. And uh, you, sir, he like looks over to Pliskin, and Pliskin just goes, um, we're going to roll something for her. Oh, well, Pliskin got in that 20. She's a little swooned by this man. Ooh. Oh, good good for Pliskin. You, you just watch. He's like, give, he puts on the pirate, sw the pirate smarm. Swagger. Yep, the swagger's hey, he gives in. He gives her the smolder. Gives her the smolder. Like, oh, oh, my goodness. She, like, falls. She, like, steps back a bit and hits her head on the shelf. Ah, <laughs> Sorry. So you guys sit down. Oh, it's a nice little magazine rack. You read, uh, you read Saltwater Fishing Monthly. That's not how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just imagine you <laughs> amateurs flipping through. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a guy with a fucking, uh, there's a guy with an abolith, like, sitting on a hook, like, hey. Uh, just curious. Me trying to splash water on Eloy's face, making him somewhat presentable. Roll How medicine. Me uh, I'm sorry. Medicine. Uh, medicine. 19. <laughs> what, what, what happened? You're fine. All right. You're, you're tipsy, but okay. Yeah, you're, 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 you, you, you kind of got a little bit of a headache starting to form, but you're all right. You gonna be okay there, buddy? Yeah. All right. I think so. How okay. was that ice cream, buddy? I'm gonna get you for that one, scrub. <laughs> I just look at him. It's like, go on. <laughs> so you guys head inside. Yeah. They notice you over there, so they go ahead and sit down along with you. Ah. You believe this is how they think you're supposed to fish? That's all. They I don't always, even go in the water. That's how I always did it. 
You're looking at an ab you're looking at an abolith on a fishing hook. That's kind of impressive because aboliths are. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. They're giant Cthulhu squid creatures. <laughs> it's nah. a terrifying thing. Uh, I mean, caught you, anything like that, but you know, I never jumped in the water, and I grew up in a, around a fishing village. They're jerks. <laughs> <laughs> You do, uh, roll me a, uh, per investigation check real quick. Uh, 13. There is something that catches your eye that you've never seen in any waters before. You do see, uh, a male human dressed in overalls kind of just holds up this fish, and it's, it looks like it's made of mithril. Hmm, well that's something I haven't seen before. It looks it looks like a like a mixture between a flounder and a really long barracuda. Right. Uh, does it mention in the article like where this was caught? I'm guessing it should. It being a yes, fishing magazine. Yes. It was uh it was found in the Emerald Canal. The Emerald Canal uh, that houses something called the. Uh, I apologize. Let me double check my notes here. Ah, here in my is. notes, I have Emerald Canal. Cool yep. fish. In the Emerald Canal, it ha it uh, houses a rare species of snag flaps. Snag flap. Creatures that are capable of able of uh, being able to ingest metal and also take their properties as a defense mechanism against predators. Hmm. Sounds very similar to a certain thing we know. Yeah. Just looking around, making sure no one says it. Related to Yeldon? Question mark. You finally come down. Oh, it's you, ragamuffins. Yep, it's us. What is it you want? You already lost. What? What's so funny? I, I was thinking just about a, something I, a joke I heard yesterday. He's a little drunk. Of course he is. Right. Anyway, why have you summoned me down here, you common plebs? To offer you an expedition to somewhere nobody, or to some place that nobody has ever gone before, to see treasures that nobody has ever seen before. Treasure. <laughs> I just imagine Ezra behind me throwing like glitter. <sighs> <laughs> Stars, Unseen. not aligned. Mm -mm, can't happen. <laughs> we know you're looking to impress the calls, and look, a bet's a bet. And rather than wait on you to ask for something, I thought I'd offer something. <laughs> what is it you can offer me? Another meager, unfulfilling bet that somehow gets me for you to become my unwilling slave for a day. <laughs> you commoners. You know, if you're willing to go double or nothing on that. What is this bet? If you're willing to go double or nothing on that, I know that my champion may not have stood tall at the end of that fight. <laughs> Ezra is not. Oh I, I'm, just, I'm just pushing you back. Oh, boy, Ezra. <laughs> this was not. Fun. You quiet. <laughs> I, I like glared daggers at you for a moment. Like, I have a lot of pent up aggression right now. <laughs> if you can find two champions to go up against me and my students. Go on. I can get you treasures beyond that which you could ever imagine. And what is this treasure? I, I, unfur I unfurl this map to the uh, Unforgotten Kingdom for the first time. <laughs> this land has been untouched by man for centuries. Maybe even thousands of years. As far as I'm aware, we are the only people to be in possession of this map. Now, if you want to get in good with the calls, if you want to find a good treasure, which I'm sure your pitiful little rock that you're buying from Lot, yeah, that might be something, but something untouched for thousands of years, I think you might be able to find something there. I think he's already got something untouched for thousands of years, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I know this is what the fuck is he doing? And exactly, if I were to take this,
And I beat you again. Your ship belongs to me, and you stay on this island for as long as it takes for you to find some fancy little way to find yourselves off of here. I will stay on this island as your personal muscle, as your personal servant, if I lose. Gee, Willikers, I hope you're going to stop him. Mr. Caster, you seem like a, a great and gracious man. Uh, just a moment with my colleague, please. Roll persuasion. Nat one. He does. He just completely flat out ignores you. Uh, uh, you, you, you realize that this little bet of yours is going to affect a lot more people than just you. Uh, and uh, we already had kind of an idea of how to get this voyage going, and now you're just making things worse for everyone. Roll stealth. Eighteen. Caster is somehow unaware of you pantomiming this wake. <laughs> and you're somehow getting all that. <laughs> Scrung, already, you already Scrung, owed him Scrung, a favor! Scrung is noticing your little bit of a plight here. <sighs> Sir, I'm fully well aware you know what I am, yes. Oh, you're a calm. Shut up! I'm a I'm a goblin, and you obviously know my people have some magical little way of getting some really good stuff to all the people who are outside of the kingdom. You're a kingdom dweller. Go. He turns to talk to Scrung. That's your chance. Fuck. He already owes you a favor. We can go on the voyage there. It, I get you want the rematch. That's fine. Leave the rest of us out of it. Yeah, that... Oh, I do, I'm not promising in the ship. I don't own the ship. I can't promise the ship. Yeah, but he just... I'm thinking he thinks that's part of the deal, and you need to make sure that is very clear. Not part of the deal. Also, uh, not to you know, maybe stroke your ego a little bit, but it's going to be really tough to work with this crew if you and Nedra suddenly are stuck here. Without her teacher, I don't know how she's going to stand on that boat. We aren't going to lose. I applaud your confidence. But this is a lot. Convictor, no. You're standing in one. That's jovial. Ah. <laughs> Fine, if you want to throw your life away, go for it. I just sulk off and I'm just like... <laughs> we can do dice rolls if you want to go, if you want to try and hoist the, the, the thing here. This seems like a character moment for Wake, so I'm just going to let it go. Okay. Tune in for TFS at the table in two weeks, where Nick will be replaced by a mystery. <laughs> no, for the record, for the record, if we lose this fight, I'm willing to retire Wake. <laughs> All right, so let me, uh, let's go through this thing uh, one more, let's, let's go through this one more time. So if you, uh, so what is, what is, the, yeah, what is the terms I'm, I'm, and what's the win and lose condition? Uh, win, we don't owe him shit. So no quest, no nothing. So okay. we don't get the... So that means we're also out of lots deal. Well, Not I mean, necessarily. We can we get, still we go get, and get yeah, stuff. Yeah. We just don't we have get to drag this We get the shit around. for a lot, and we don't have so to bring this So you're pretty much doing this us. to try and equate Caster out of the whole thing. Yes. Okay, but... Uh, I lose. Wake is at his beck and call. Mm. For as long as he should live. One second. Okay, let me roll severity. Right on top of my phone. The caveat is he has to find two champions, which I'm assuming is Barabbas and something else to go up against Nedra and Wake. Well, he rolled pretty high, so... 
As much as I'd like to be able to keep you and make you, well, I don't know, probably my daughter's servant or something, I can't find a second champion. I only have one. Well, that is awful, isn't it? Hmm, quite. I mean, I could just throw you into the pile of all the other servants I have. How many servants would that be? Why do you care? I have reasons. Well, my reasons are, I don't need to tell you jack shit. Can, can we just define terms here? When you say servants, I mean, you're a rich man. You're rich as hell. So you're talking about paid employees, right? Of course. Right, because money's no object to there you. There we go, perfect. Yeah, paid away wage, like, like people. Yes, yeah, servants. Slaves are an entirely different thing, right? That's, you're, you're way too much of a... I'm far more reputable than that. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure there were no misunderstandings at the table here about this. Just wanted to be sure. Thank you. I, not that I suspected anything. Just wanted to make sure anyone listening... Didn't get the wrong idea about you, Mr. Caster, Esquire, sir. Mm. Fine. Well, if you're unwilling to take me up on that bet, if you couldn't find anybody else that you think could possibly best me and my champion, then I will offer you an expedition to here. Very well. When are we setting sail? Tomorrow morning. Glorious. I will make sure that Gloria is awakened for the proper time. She will come as well. It's, um, uh, I, I, I will warn you that we do not know what kind of dangers might be upon this island. Yeah, this seems like a... Like, it might be... Not, not be very safe for you and your daughter. If you, if you want to stay back, I mean, you can send... If, if you want to keep tabs on us or something... Obviously, Barabbas seems to be loyal to you. If you want to send him along, I totally understand that. Oh, you're absolutely right. I should bring him along to make sure that you don't double-cross me. I mean, there's also that, but I just want to make sure that you, yourself, have to understand that we're going somewhere very dangerous. And but I want to make sure you're, you're a lawyer. You understand how things like contracts work. I would like to have it in writing that if something happens to you, that we are not held responsible because... I am imploring you and your daughter to not come with us. This could be very dangerous. I am, if this guy wants to, all the gambles and everything, I have nothing to do with your deal with him. I am just begging you, please reconsider bring coming along yourself for your own sake. Persuasion. Uh, 25. He agrees. Or, or if you come along, to please have in writing that you're li- that it was your choice to come along. No, he agrees. Okay. He will he will actually like just go upstairs, grab like a briefcase, come back downstairs, and start writing out the contract to those terms. Okay. Thank you. But he also adds on this term that he holds the right to have ninety five percent of whatever you find. <laughs> Fine. I think that's acceptable. Somehow my gamble's not looking so dumb anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So with the eyes with the eyes crossed and the D's dot uh, the T's dotted. Yeah, the D's dotted. Yeah, that's the how they write in that Dot them D's. You can put the dot, dot in the middle of the D, it's good. Uh, everything's all put together. He hands you the contract, makes a copy for himself. And he also will make an extra copy to make sure that it is sanctioned by the calls themselves. Okay. So you have to get his hand carved? Yes. Yes, he does. <laughs> he will get his hand carved, and now you have a double carve. That's unfortunate. Does, like, do these carves like, disappear once we've made good on it? You don't know. <laughs> I'm really getting tired of this elephant. Hey, you're getting a carve, too. Fine by me. Roll con save. As he takes out the ceremonial dagger. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, 21. Take it like a champ. Hmm. This thing is good. It's a good pain. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, is, so is he bringing his daughter along, or is he deciding, like, er, like, was he signing a liability waiver for the daughter, or? No, he, you actually persuaded him not to take the daughter along. Okay. He is going to take Barabbas with you. 
Uh, That's fine. However, he's not taking his daughter. Another set of hands keeping things from getting too dangerous. That's fine. And I just wanted to make sure, basically, my idea was I didn't want it to become, oh, man, Lockwood and his crew, uh, if you come along with them, you're going to die because they might be murderers. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fair. But also, now that you have that little carve on your hand, he actually feels a little bit more inclined to be okay with this. He's not telling you why, but he seems a little bit more at ease at the fact that he was able to put that uh, carve on your hand. Now, okay. I'm pretty sure you just made an unbreakable... P very possible. <laughs> Will you be accompanying us as well? Oh, yeah, I'm just the ship's musician. Well, I figured you were a pack mule. Go ahead, bring your hand here. I mean, he what? doesn't... He doesn't why, why I gotta have my hand stabbed? I just play the flute. Everyone needs to have this seal that is part of this trip. Oh, man. Good luck getting Grammy to agree to this, but okay. <laughs> I hold out my hand. Roll a uh, con save. Six. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He kind of digs a little bit so hard into it. He's like, you don't know what you might have done to make this man angry. Maybe it was the small dick joke. But that <laughs> knife kind of went through the hand and then back up. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Minus two dexterity for, uh... Minus one dexterity for 24 hours. Eey. Not two. That would, that would suck yeah. horribly. Yeah, that'd be real rough. Now he looks over to Pliskin and Skrung. I can't wait for them to find a way out of getting this carve, and we all just got it. Pliskin and Skrung, I'm gonna roll for their descent. Oh, god damn, guys! We already have ours. It's a good, good. See, I already had one. Why well, didn't I get you, a chance? You watch, you watch as you watch as uh, Skrung like hides a pen in his pocket. It's a red pen. Roll for deception for them. Nat twenty. Now for Pliskin. Nineteen. Now for Caster. Caster rolls a five. Just believes it. Yeah. All right. I must have already gotten them. Huh. Very well. I will be back tomorrow morning to make sure everyone else is part of the contract. Tomorrow morning at first light, you can meet us at the call port. I shall. Pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Caster. <laughs> yes. Just moseys on I'm Ready to catch him with the pleasures all mine. Well, okay. So you guys will find 95% of the treasure. I <laughs> look, at, <laughs> look at Scrug and Pliskin. I mean, I mean did you honestly think I was going to go along with that? Of course not. That's what because I was banking. Because I don't have the mark. Because that's what I was banking on. Huh, thank God. I mean, there's lots of ways to calculate 95%. Yeah, could have been 95% of, a, you know, I how much it weighs. And maybe I as long as we know what's valuable and he doesn't. I could give you 95 coppers. And, and take five Platinums. Yeah, that's 95% of the coins. Yeah, there you go. On the contract, it says any 95% of whatever caster deems valuable. Great. Then all we have to do is convince him that some stuff isn't valuable. <laughs> There'll be a caveat. For a lawyer, he didn't really check that out. He seemed a little <laughs> pompous about it. All right. Well, I guess with that in store, go ahead and talk to your crew about this. Because after that, I think we actually might find our natural end. All right. So we head back to the ship. I'm assuming everyone's gathered there and explain the day's events. Uh, before we go in, though, well, technically we're at the uh, call manor. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's well, no, you, you you can choose to either be in the manor or you could choose to be at the uh, at the ship. I'm fine with the manor. That seems like a more comfortable. So place everyone to be. except for, everyone except stuck for Grammy is bit. pretty much there. Uh. But before the meeting commences proper, I kind of pull Skrung aside. Look, I understand if you want to keep your identity secret from the rest of the guys, but just let me know before you know, we talk about the things that have happened today. Don't want to let anything slip that you don't want to let go. Thanks for telling me that, and I'd rather you didn't actually keep my name outside. Gotcha. Tomorrow we, make, uh, tomorrow we set off for the unwitnessed kingdom. There's, there's risk. He, like, looks up. 
Oh, that's actually really nice. I've been doing a little bit of research on that, actually. How much really? do people actually know about yeah. this place? Not a lot, but a sunken kingdom, that's something to look that's something I looked into. Well, this sounds like my territory. Mm, indeed. Not a lot of and it's really hard to speak Aquan actually. It was kind of really hard to do that with this Aquan language dictionary book. Well, if you just hand it here. Here you go. I read it. Well, how long is it? Pretty long. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> I skim it. <laughs> Roll investigation. <laughs> bloop 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 bloop. <laughs> Bloopers be shopping, he says. Uh, <laughs> uh, 16. 16? Uh, it doesn't give a lot of like really big names. It uh, speaks about how uh, a couple of hundred years ago uh, that an unknown force was just like sinking land masses out from like the coastal sides of islands and plunging them into the water. So like kingdoms of old were once disappeared. Houses that once... Uh, houses that once held great power when it came to magic seem to just sunk, uh, just sunk with the wa- uh, with the tide. So kind of similar to my old home. Kind of, my yeah. My very old home. Yeah. Something like that matter, but it's more like... Th- there's a big time gap. Like, there's a cultural difference. Some of the pictures and some of the uh, depictions you're reading in here, like, if I was to put it into real-life terms, it's like looking at like, a stark difference. So, like, you're looking at, like, Golden Age piracy next to Renaissance era. Okay. Yeah, this place sunk a long time ago. Like, uh, would I would I date this like before the onrush? This dates probably during. Yeah, this this place sunk like probably at the start of the onrush. Mm-hmm. Uh, red. We'll see if she can try. Well, actually, no. Red rolled in that one, so that's not happening. Let's roll <laughs> for Ziaka. If this place is as far underwater as I think it is, uh, you, uh, you air breathers might need a few thing, a thing or two to get down there. Ziaka like looks around. Is there not no one we can seek to find any devices that would help us be able to go underwater? No, oh, there sure are. I have an idea. Hello! Legitimate <laughs> <laughs> Larry just bursts out of the floor. Well, that wasn't my original idea, but this also works. What? No, what was your idea? <laughs> Uh, devices makes me think machines makes me think uh, uh, yeah but bear in mind Not you go to machines yeah. and you get caster involved that's probably wrong yeah so magic is actually probably your better well bet. think of it this way caster knows I was gonna say caster's lot. already making deals with them so that's I figure true. he knows shit but that being said just because he's uh just because he's Making buying deals. something from him yeah. does not necessarily mean he knows what's going on. Yeah, mm. that's very fair. And you, <laughs> friggin' legitimate Larry, popping in almost at a perfect time. He, he, I, I was kidding. That's I know. not happening. But now the idea has yeah, popped yeah, yeah. in. <laughs> yeah. well, I think we can find someone. Well, Red, you said once that you could cast water breathing, but I don't know like how many people that works on or how long it lasts. Probably not enough to explore all the way down to the depths of the ocean. Yeah, there's also the problem of water pressure. But that's you know concept of well knowledge to see if you know that. <laughs> yeah. uh, I might know that, but yeah. I you, get used to it. Yeah, you would know it, and I might not. Uh, You're from a fishing village. That's yeah. true. Maybe. Eighteen from, from a fishing village, you kind of like get that loose idea. Like even like around and, the and navy. anybody that might spear fish around your village <laughs> yeah. would know the, it. The navy, the navy would also be able to like give you like base ideas. Just like hey, going underwater into the abyss, even though like the Aquan can do it, it's probably not good for someone who can't. We have diving bells to do that, but going down even deeper, those things crack. So yeah, I, I mentioned that idea with my 18, <laughs> I hope, and uh, knowledge on this. Yeah. So I and anybody that can actually hold their breath will probably have, and can, you know, swim down there, will probably have to scout it out. Golfer kind of like holds up the cubes. Lad, why don't you just teleport us there? I mean, that'll work too if there's a place to breathe. Well, that'll probably be where your job comes in. Probably. But yeah, I can do that. I hadn't thought about that. It does work out really well. And and just so we're clear on how these things work, you can go like back and forth with them, right? Like once we go down there, we'll we'll be able to get back and you can swim back with the Nah, lad. after a week. That wasn't what was told. Apparently from what these things can do, it's a one-way trip from one side to the other and then they're done for the day. You have 24 hours to place them. Basically, it's you have 24 hours to place them. They're, and when you activate them, they last 24 hours. It's a one-way trip either to one side or the other. Okay. 
That being said, if we can craft some sort of, I don't know, extraction device that will get you from the bottom straight to the top really quickly, we can probably get everybody out of there pretty quick. Or maybe accidentally lose somebody. Uh Uh-oh, that would be terrible. Yeah, that would be really (laughs) awful. Well, Red goes, well, if we could somehow find a way down there and with a quick escape, that's something that seems a little bit more... Passable for your magic? Passable for my magic, yes. Yeah, so basically I'll get down there. I'll see if anybody up there can breathe. And then we'll work from there. Uh, Works for me. Pliskin kind of like holds his hand up. So now that we know that like this place is like an old sunken kingdom, does anyone have any idea as to what we might find? Is any is anyone knowledgeable about that? I might be. Go for it. Uh, can I go with advantage since I'm a merfolk and I'm uh, familiar with these sunken cities? Did you say yes for advantage? Yeah, go for advantage. Oh, thank God. Because <laughs> that was a one, and going straight from a one to a modified twenty. Hey, alrighty. Uh, Red and Riss will also chime in as well. Riss <laughs> knows that while uh, while most people probably do not uh, remember a lot of the old history because these kingdoms, during the onrush, a lot of places were just gone from existence and they were never seen from again. And this was back during a time where the Leisure Main was not like up to code with keeping history or anything, so... A lot of stuff kind of wasn't written at the time. There may have been a lot of information that was never checked off or the onrush completely wiped out a civilization and just it never came back. But if there, uh, there have been rumblings that depending on which god you serve, uh, some uh, clergy or some priesthoods have actually spoken that there might be treasures of certain gods in these places that were regarded in past right. lives. And what would I know? Uh, like, Because the harp that I have <coughs> and the head of the spear that I use was taken from the uh, basically my babyhood home. Right. Um, for your situation, uh, the followers of Kelpie have said that uh, the places that have sunk are normally tainted with magic from the onrush, so going near them while you could do it uh, might actually like like there are there are beasts that could bar you from getting in there. So like places of like sunken surface world anything is a clear sign that something dangerous so is here. Th- things things that my parents and grandparents would have beaten back when they were taking over the place that we lived. Yeah. So they they have spoken about things like oh I don't know the abyssal as something that might be something you would encounter in these places. Abyssals, abyssals. And other such things. Maybe Sahagans. We kicked the shit out of the last abyssals we ran into. Eh, you've never seen the deep abyssal. But the prop, Yeah, and then uh, Pliskin kind of chimes in. The problem is, is that we'd be fighting them on their home turf. Also sharks. Lots of sharks. Sharks like hanging out in places like that. Well, in any case... If we can do like some sort of reconnaissance to at least be able to see if we can get down there, we might be able to find some way to fall uh, to get in there. Though uh, Pliskin does hold up, Pliskin and Riss both look to each other and go, "The idea of a diving bell might not be such a bad idea, and that would go well with the Navy's regulations." Yeah. What if we just ask Gore for a diving bell? Well, we can probably do that. I don't see that that would be an issue. I would still feel more comfortable if I went ahead. We could still do that, but it still runs the gambit of trying to get people down here, and Caster obviously wants to go down as well. Not tipping off too much of the, uh, let's say, things that we have, that we're capable of, that Caster isn't aware of. You know, keeping him in the dark on some of our magic stuff might not be a bad idea. No, but I got the uh, scrying orb. I can call back to you with yeah. any information that I find then I guess this is just a little bit of an expedition then. We do, remember what, well, based on what you told us, Lot said we have at least three days to get this done. Yeah. Yep, and if we go straight from there, well, to the uh, other bit of mission that we have with the children. Yes. Would you prefer if, like, Risk kind of like holds his hand up, wouldn't you prefer if, like, maybe some of us who don't go on the other mission go off and do this? If time is of the essence. We have three days. I mean, how would we split that? Tell us who want, tell us who needs to go, and which way, and we'll find a way across. 
like Pliskin and uh, Pliskin and Pliskin Red Golfer and uh, Skrung are just like. I don't think it's hard to ask someone to buy us another ship to get close to the area. Or, you know, we could just... And Pliskin just, like, smiles. We could just commandeer one. I don't think commandeering one in this present uh, company... A tourist boat, of course. Naturally. I still feel you know, like it's quite possible the Navy might offer you one, just allow you to take one for this mission. I mean, yeah, but where's the fun in that, though? I, I read it you is, loud It is clear. an officially sanctioned mission. I read you loud and clear, Pliskin. It's just more with the number of eyes we have on us, keeping our hands as not dirty as possible. Seems like a good idea right now. My hands are always dirty. Thanks. Oh, hi, I'm here too. Thanks, Grammy. You're welcome. It's good to know that Flicks you who... cigarette ash on you. Mm-hmm. It's good to know that you who prepares our food proudly pro- proclaims your dirty hands. Just... <laughs> Keep that in mind, everyone else. This, it's one's, part this of the, one's now gold. It's part of the seasoning, Ezra. There you, you know go. what, you're he right. He gets it. The skin flakes make the soup. Mm-hmm. Just an extra, extra Just bit of Just a little flavor. bit of salt. Some more flavor in there. It's for <sighs> flavor. <laughs> and texture. All right. And uh, I, I ask, basically, like, I'm, I'm just going to ask the group, like, who's interested in coming along to the, like, obviously Ziaka, because yeah. this is Ziaka, Risf closely is like... connected to her. Yeah, Risf is interested in this one. Um, I mean, I'm obviously, uh... I'm obviously going. <laughs> yeah, I uh... say holding up my hand with the carve on it. Se- seems like red would be a good choice, even if it's just as an emergency well, backup. I think red might have to go up north since her... Mission leads straight to Ibrakal. That is true, but you did state one thing. If we do use that one, if we do use that one ability to get us up to the air, uh, get us up to the surface quickly, you might need me then. It's true. This might just be something that we need to. We might just need to keep the crew together. Yeah, that's fair. I, I feel like I was just I was just putting the idea out there. If you wanted to split the party up to go, like the NPCs to go do stuff, right, you could. Is it, pos- <clears throat> is it possible to teach Ziaka the uh, spell that you're talking about? The spell that you uh, would use to let all of you air breathers breathe the water. No, but you have that device, don't you? Yeah, but that's only useful to him. What if he has this? What if he would take my book and just write it out? I think he needs to cast it. I. I don't know. We could try. Do you want to get your device? Uh, yeah. I'll... All right, you get your turner. She gives you her spell book, and she reads it out to you so you could exactly know how to do this. Okay. Roll an arcane. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> your turner creates a garbled mess. Yeah, I'm... I'm... Pretty sure these are made for bard spells specifically. Like, it, it might take a little more work than that to figure out how to how to adapt it to other kinds of magic. Unfortunately, so yeah, it looks like you might be coming with us. What might be a good idea is not so much just having everybody like splitting up the party to, to figure out this this other mission, yeah, but just having some people scout ahead, like trying to think. Well, golfer, I assume uh, with all of your chemistry, you have something that can possibly put the children on that ship to sleep. Maybe a few smoke bombs. Oh, I, I have stuff like that, lad. Then I think he might I've be... used it on this one once before. You couldn't tell. You fell asleep. Then I think he might be one of the best people to go up that way, despite the fact that that would mean splitting from the Yeldon. Are you okay with that? As long as I got a ride back. Well, Pliskin, if you want to take Golfer and go up that way, we might be able to take these children alive. And uh, Skrung will go with them as well. Yeah. And uh, the Skrung can sneak aboard and plant some of those bombs and stuff. Yep. And uh, <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm going to say this. Let me go ahead and roll and see if it actually does happen. Yeah, it does. Grammy crunches her hand up. Now, you... you're not going to be cooking the children. They are not part of the secret ingredient. Does the hand go down? 
All right. So you're staying with us then? No, I'm still going, but I won't do it. Okay. Don't let her cook the children. <laughs> Grammy, don't cook the children. You owe me. Yes. Grammy? I will find you some incredible ingredients from the bottom of the sea. <laughs> I present one glass bead. <laughs> <coughs> Grammy, if you throw this on the ground, a very dangerous creature appears. So dangerous, I don't even know what it's going to be. But it may make a fantastic secret ingredient. All I ask is if you use this, you use it away from people. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone in the crew just stops and looks at you. You fucking kill yeah, us. Yeah, no, I, I, I looked at you like, why? <laughs> Like, even I know, that's... Because I'm curious. Well, first of all, that last one you threw wasn't exactly edible. We don't know... Th Neither is there anything she, she serves us. Not true. Everything she's made has been enjoyable. Guys, this is great. I used to have the worst judgment of anybody in the group, and now look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, we, I'm, we thought we were teaching you, but in fact, you were teaching us. <laughs> now and I have course, the uh, third worst judgment at worst. Yeah, and uh, Nedra's going to come with us, and she's, uh, you know, with me. And yeah, I asked Calliope if she if she's interested in coming along or if she she is our guest. Uh, here's I'm gonna say this: you you never said you I, I know you said you wanted to get Calliope, but here's we never actually made actions to get you, her. You name, never made actions to get her, but Scrong's gonna grab you and just be like, what? Now, we could bring her along, and that's a great, that's fine. My only concern is, is based on how well she's trying to get in bed with the calls. What do you mean by that? Shut up and just listen to me for okay, a second. Okay, okay, I'm just, I'm just curious, like, what, 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 what did you mean by that? Wait, all? shut up for a second. Fine. I'm just curious. She's trying to make good with the calls. Uh-huh. We're doing something. She's trying to make out well with the call. She's really trying to kiss up to them, okay? No, what do you what do you mean like uh, Wait, hold on. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wake, hold on. Wake might have an epiphany. Yes. Wake So wait, if we get a really nice treasure for her to give to the calls, then she'd be really happy. And they'd look upon her favorably, and they'd be happy with her and she'd yeah. I mean, that wasn't what I was going to say, but sure, we can do that, too. Yeah. The point being it was is if we have her involved in this in some way, that might reflect bad with her with the calls if, the sh if something goes south. Not having her coming along is actually protecting her. Not just from the dangers we might encounter, but from the danger of being associated with us if something goes awry. And now Wake's worried about if we can't associate with the calls, then she might not want to associate with us. Great. There's that, there's that <laughs> no, cog you just threw in there. An another. <laughs> but on the upside, you still can get her something. It's true. Yeah. It's good for everybody. Yes. So long as she's Also safe. explaining what we're doing to the girl who's fangirling about the calls that we're doing something underneath the calls' noses might actually put our plan in jeopardy. I'm pretty sure it benefits the calls, what we're doing. We're, we're, we're not going to let them unleash a volcano. Yes, but it's still a very precious artifact that they want. They don't know that. They don't even know what it is. They will hear it's something valuable. It is something valuable. <laughs> I guess. But as they said, the innocent ones don't really care about value. They just care about cool shit. All right, so I'll go ahead and just pressure on this to you. Do you still want to bring her along? I'm not going to push for it. I am, I am neutral on it. I, I feel like, I feel like the, the evidence seems to suggest it would be a bad idea, but if, if <laughs> no, the crew wait, wait, was like... Wake's, Wake's been talked down on it. In fact, he's, he's got in his head that he's going to find something super cool for her to give to them to make them really happy. Yeah, that, that also works too. Sorry to like shoot that plan down, but I'm just oh, like no, no if you if you told Calliope, who's not you know the most like closed mouth about shit like this, <laughs> especially for like pirate dealing, that might be a huge like you would have shot your plan straight in the foot. 
I was just like, as a GM, I'm just like, no, no, <laughs> no, stop, fucking stop. All right, so uh, is there anything else you want anyone else, like, with whatever time they have left, they can go purchase anything. Uh, uh, what's his face? I apologize. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Pliskin. <laughs> yes. Pliskin. Uh, beloved Pliskin. Pliskin. Who? Who? Pliskin will still actually say that while it's good that we have you around for, like, a lot of underwater stuff, Having a diving bell might not be such a bad idea for no, everyone we'll, else. We'll, oh, yeah. uh, we'll send, uh, we'll actually like make a quick trip to Navy headquarters to see if we can uh, both uh, get a boat for the mission that they are, you know, mm -hmm. going to do up north. Because we wouldn't want, uh, basically under the guise of we wouldn't want our ship being spotted and something like that in case we ever have to do any covert work around pirates in the future since we are a relatively neutral party in their eyes and trying to make that seem as beneficial to Gore as possible, as well as uh, acquiring a diving bell. I love this plan. <laughs> I <laughs> thought you would. Such that was so quick. That I was, okay, roll a persuasion check to see if you can at least get away with this with a cut fee. My assistance will be negligible at 10. Uh, 19. Oh, wait, no, uh, 18. Sorry, it's not a plus one. You want to go? No, uh, I think we'll go with Nick's roll. <laughs> <laughs> with a cut value at twenty five hundred gold, you can get all of those, and he'll give you he'll give the other guys a sloop. Now the sloop is a rental, right? We aren't owning it. No, you're not owning the sloop. Yeah, okay. Owning the sloop would be a lot more money. I figured. So I figured. Sloop is my favorite salt and pepper song. Oh. Well, you heard the man, Captain. <laughs> I nudge him. Here you, here you go, I say, and produce 2,500 gold. Wake has no Thank money. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so with that, we will have our natural point here, and next time we actually do this, we'll be on our way to a fantastical new place. Fantastic which is voyage. two weeks from now. Unfortunately, but, yes. Yeah, but don't worry, just because Zito's out of town next week, we do have an episode of The Natural Wonders next week. What? It's just going to be a very special episode of The Natural Wonders. <laughs> what the a... Saturday morning cartoon version! Oh, oh my god! Oh Get my ready, god. I, got th I got this shit planned out. I got this <laughs> planned out. It's gonna be great. Yep. It'll be of, let us say, lesser canonicity, but more bombastic. No, no, no. It's what it's like you tune in on Saturday morning, or it's what like a child would read in a comic book store. Yeah. 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 Dude, yeah. you know how we can we can fake this? Uh yeah. You know how we can fake this? Hmm. You're reading a bedtime story to Nedra. <laughs> uh, I'm not I'm not even going to do that. Like I, I already have my idea well, for how I'm going to present it. I know, it. but I'm just, I, for me on the outside not knowing what's up, I'm like, that's how you could work it, but if you have <laughs> something else in plan. mind. I will shut up. Also, yeah. an important note, uh, next week would be the first Tuesday of the month where we normally do our after Discord AMA. Yep. Uh, but since Zito won't be here, we're actually going to push that to the week after. So Yes, we'll be pushing that to the week after when hopefully we'll also be able to unveil the flag when Ooh. the full crew is back together. Yeah. Well, get ready, boys, because next game we do, uh, when I get back... We're gonna have us some good old fashioned dungeon crawling. Good. I I, I I want this one to go long. Wake hasn't punched something in quite a while. No, nope, but it's, before it's we for end that. for the day, we do have, of course, uh, along with the stream we had earlier today. Which, mm -hmm. by the way, for those that do not know, we uh, now do a fan art stream earlier in the day on Tuesdays at about two o'clock Central Time. About but three just hours to highlight, it yeah, about three hours before we start here. But just to highlight some of the wonderful work that all of you have been sending in, here is our fan art showcase for this week. All right. Now let's uh, jump on over here. Let me pull out Twitter again because I continually, continually forget to do so. It happens. It happens way more often than I would prefer. Do, 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 do. Go into the latest. And of course, we already have some new ones, so I have to scroll down again. Uh, starting with this one by Jasper Lind, PRL. Whoa! Roadie Grammy. Oh, yeah. That's terrifying, but Metal's great. Metal's not dead. <laughs> Metal's not dead. She's got the Natural Ingredients Secret Wonders shirt on. All right. And I absolutely, like, dig that. Uh, oh, oh, God. I'm trying to think of the name of the band. Like, it's, it's almost Iron Maiden-esque art with her face yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you so much, Jasper Lind, Jasper PRL on Twitter. Very cool. Uh, next up, we have the Spumoni <laughs> siblings by Blitzy, aka 
Uh, but, but, but I believe it's Glaive Chio on Twitter. And uh, their commissions are open, but they're the Spumoni siblings before the tragedy. <laughs> you got Sakura, Coco, and of course, our boy, Pistachio there. Uh, Peter, as I believe his name once was. <laughs> yep, Peter who was. But thank you so much, Blitzy. And uh, next up from Marvel Poison. Yes! yes. 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 Spumoni's Lament, or What's Opera, Zito? <laughs> I, I fucking adore this so much. So good. Yeah, this is a classic, uh, a, a spoof on a classic Looney Tunes cartoon. Yes. If you haven't seen it, look up What's Opera, Doc. It is probably like one of the most quintessential Looney Tunes cartoons of all Definitely. time. Yep. Beautiful. My dad, who is a Mr. No, no Nonsense Man, even admits that episode was fantastic. Mm, it, <laughs> I, I believe it won a uh, Oscar or an Emmy for like cartoon Emmy. animated short. Emmy for animated short. Yep. Beautiful cartoon. Thank you so much, Marvel Poison. Absolutely adore that. Uh, next up, by Skittish Cosplay, Ooh. we have Little Underwater Wake. Which uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of in uh, about two weeks here. Right. Seems like it. Searching through the underground or the underwater, found himself a little cave there. I love the colors. I love the little god beams coming through the uh, coming through the uh, canopy of the sea. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. sure if that's the right term. God rays. Yeah, the god rays. Uh, I like that you can see through his fins too. Like if you ah, really zoom in there, yeah, he's you got can kinda, translucent fins. Yeah, he's yeah. Got a little bit of translucence going on there. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Skittish Cosplay on Twitter. Next up, scrolling on down, Eloy <laughs> won his battle and pleased Pistachio, doing honor to everybody's favorite it began cat man. Raining Pistachio oh, ice cream. You did it, son. By Blue Star four nine nine one, aka Chad Clark or a True Blue Star. That's Blue Star four nine nine one on Twitter. Thank you so much. Beautiful, love it. Next up, oh man, by Taylor Friedhoff or. The Life on Mars 73. Commissions Ooh. are open on Twitter. We got uh, Eloy with a single tear rolling down his cheek. You can't quite yeah, see it from not, here. Yeah, it's a little hard from here, but... But he, this is him putting his heart and soul <laughs> into that Beautiful. performance, trying to do justice to Pistachio. Uh, also, I love the haircut. It makes it look like Eloy's from the Beatles. Yeah. Yes. That's Fantastic. What I was going to say. Thanks very, so much. Very Beatles. Moving on. We got oh, this yeah, that's awesome. Metal's Not Dead Grammy by Goat Chimera. Hell I love yeah. the roadie jacket. Uh, handing Wake a lovely bowl of blood orange ice cream, <laughs> some sherbet, and on her uh, headband, it actually does say, in me Metal Never Dies. So Fucking I'm yeah. going to say this. If Grammy ever does go into combat, that's what she's wearing. <laughs> I love the single blind eye and like the horrifically jagged hag teeth. And the nose, the fucking nose that goes all yep. the way yeah. down past her mouth. The crooked, the crooked seaweed-looking nose or seaweed looking hair I love it thanks so much Goat Chimera or Chimera Chan next up this is by uh, Caitlin C do, 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 do 37 I believe oh, yep. Caitlin C 37 giving you that golfer uh, again that try that try uh, the try beard yeah, yeah the, tr the try braid beard there yeah. the mohawk Oh, this this fucking scheming boy! Look at him go! I love it. <laughs> Gopher so hasn't much. gotten a lot of time to shine lately. Caitlin C thirty seven. Well, if he uh, manages to put all those children to sleep, he will have yeah yeah he'll won quite a bit of grace with pretty much well definitely wake you yeah. know bringing yeah, back yeah. children alive that's good. Uh, commissions are open for Caitlin C thirty seven on Twitter. Thank you kindly. Next down. This one oh. blew me away when I saw it. This is uh, by Simon's Arts. Uh, Simon Sun, uh, Simon's on uh, 1998 on Twitter. This is uh, Nedra versus uh, Barbarus, right? Barabbas. Barabbas. I keep throwing the B it's a, in the It's wrong okay. Place. Like, an easy way to do that is just like remember, like who do we let live, Jesus or the murderer named Barabbas? <laughs> I don't think that you didn't hold have much. you didn't have a high uh, opinion of your bird, did you? <laughs> I didn't name him. I, I he was he, my my he wasn't me. I didn't name that bird, and also it was a hand me down from my grandparents. Ah, yeah, this okay. is a, this is a wonderful mural. Like you can zoom in quite yeah, a bit on Twitter. Yeah, there's lots here. of detail on it. Yeah, uh, I think it is. Um, it's absolutely amazing. I would want this like over my couch. You know. <laughs> 
Like, thank you so much, Simon's Art or Simon's on 1990 or Simonson 1998 on Twitter. Definitely give them a look out because they had like three pieces of art that I featured on the stream earlier that uh, I'm not able to, you know, completely mm -hmm. show off here because I like getting various artists in yes. on this. Yeah, yeah. But thank you so much. This is incredible. And so was the uh, remainder of the art that you have presented. I look forward to many more in the future. Next up. Uh, by Sage Yo. Green Cat, Eloy in full thing. bard mode attire. Oh, this one's actually scrolling down quite a bit. There we go. Yeah, uh, with his fluffy, beautiful macaw feathers <laughs> pluming out of his hat. I love that he has Elton John glasses on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rocking out his bagpipe, standing on his uh, standing on his hinders, God, killing how, it. How how much would how much would you like Eloy and Ezra flip out if they ended up seeing like macaws down there somehow? <laughs> the underwater macaws. Yeah, the underwater macaws. No! Oh, no! What? No! You can't be here! You're dead! <laughs> I'm supposed to be Multi safe. <laughs> Multicolored stingrays, the macaws of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> this was supposed to be yeah, a his safe cloak, place. His cloak a of illusions on there, the spotlight's hitting him just right. Thank you so much, Sage Green Cat, for that beautiful, Love beautiful Eloy. Next up. Here we have uh, actually another one by Sage Green Cat chasing around the uh, secret ingredient that is it. I love that uh, we talked about this earlier on the other stream, but she looks like a uh, cross between, like, it's if Witch Hazel and Granny from yeah. Looney Tunes did a fusion dance. Yep. <laughs> now I'll get you for the soup. Ah, no! <laughs> I love the terror in its face. Oh. Please save me! I can, um, I can absolutely imagine this when no one else is on the ship. Yep. Had to show that one off. Thank you so much, Sage Green Cat. Those are the interstitials on the Saturday morning cartoon. Yep. Did, we'll Tom be right back. Tom and Jerry-esque antics. Uh, next up. And this, I believe, <laughs> the last. <laughs> I have to scroll way down for this one to get the name, but I love the tear work on this one. This is by uh, Bitter Crow, or Bitter underscore Crow 1409 on Twitter. Uh, the tear work and the facial expression. Pistachio, no! Thank you so much for that. Wonderful. I love it. Excellent. <laughs> and I think that's all of them, right? That's a great face, though. All right, let's kick it back over. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. We'll see you next week for a very special uh, Saturday morning cartoon version of The Natural Wonders. Uh, we'll be drop uh calling out some bit drops here at the very end but thanks so much for dropping by and we'll see you guys next time at the table later wonders <laughs>